Today we are joined by a special guest. She goes it's by me. she goes by many names. We call her Carla. Introduce yourself. Hello. I'm Carla with a Q. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Edgy. <laughs> no idea when that happened. It just well, kind I don't of know. It, 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 yeah, it, it just I just I always pop in and suddenly it's changed. I thought you were changing. I no. you were changing it. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who's changing it. It just, keep, just keeps changing. It has a mind of its own. Because at one point it was Barla, then it was then now yeah, it was it was Barla for a it's while. Barla with a Q. Yeah. That's Barla. weird. I mean, it works. It still it still says Carla. It does work. But yeah. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a tier list, which has never been done before by anyone. Mm -mm. We're, Fresh uh, idea. We're Brand new idea. We're pioneering the uh, <laughs> straight, straight, uh, straight off the whiteboard. <laughs> yep, straight off the old noggin. We're pioneering a new, a new era of uh, of content. But I have the tier list here on my screen. You guys won't be able to see it, but it's it's the same thing. So what we're gonna be okay. doing is let me see. I had a question before we started. Yeah. What if none of us has eaten at this place? So Probably I actually had a contingency plan for this that I was talking to Carla okay. about. So what I want you to do, if it's a restaurant that you have no idea about, I want you guys to look up their menu and f try to find pictures of what their food actually looks like rather than their advertisements mm. and kind of uh, make a wild assumption of where you might put it at. Okay. And look I'm also reviews. gonna try. I might do research on of like where it is in in the, in the city, like because that 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 actually does matter. Some places what? are better in different parts of the city. I don't know. It's just a thing. Wait, hold up. I want to hear that. Huh. That reasoning. What do you mean? Like, if it's on the bad side of town, it's gonna be yeah, worse. Food's gonna be, better? dude. A taco shop on the bad side of town's gonna fucking slap. But if it's right on Main Street, it's probably all right. But then again, if you go to uh to like say Burger King that's in the in a bad part of town, it's gonna suck. Well, that's the thing is you have to keep, yeah. you got to take these things into consideration. But it's, it's gonna, gonna be fast food, right? Yeah, not it's, it's like... all fast food. They're, they're fast food chains. It's not gonna be like some mom and pop like, taco truck. Yeah, taco truck. Because man, those taco trucks do be fucking slapping. They're really good. Uh, I've started. Th oh no, I'm thinking about them now. Okay, you just you just got back from the gym. You can't do it. No, I know it's it's not it's not something that you should do. I had a, I had a banana smoothie. I'm set That's for good. the night. That's good, but it's, our, it helps um, with the cramps. It helps with the ouchies. <laughs> it helps with the big hurt in the morning. <laughs> but we have our, our tier list set up. We have our S tier, which is fucking phenomenal food that you could eat every single day of your entire life. We have A, B, C, D, and F for fuck that place or I'm never going to eat there ever again. Okay. So, we can go no. ahead and start it out with um Can you can you share yeah. your screen for us so we can see the tier I list? I feel like that's part I of the immersion. Can. I would quite enjoy Wait. that. Let me see if I can. But is he going to pop up on Discord? Oh, but if I show you the tier list, it's gonna like show all the restaurants that are, that are coming. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's not. I don't want that to that. do that. I don't want to do that. We'll have our we'll have, have our out. audience get a get a piece of paper, draw out the tier list, and scribe in as we as we're talking about it. All right. So just visually imprinted into your brain. I have the tier list on my side, so mm -hmm. the viewers can see the tier list and everything on there. Oh, okay. So it, it it it's it's gonna be present. Let's go ahead and start with um let me see. Let's go ahead and start with um Subway. Be fresh. Um trying to think of like how good the ceiling is. So I quite like Subway and I'm I'm gonna put it in at least a B because I don't know what's on the list and I don't wanna like put it too too high. But it's definitely higher. We can it's got good food. Accordingly. Oh, can yeah. we? Okay. I, I'm I'm gonna go so, yeah solid B for now. Wait, what's the rating scale? It's a S A B C D and F. Uh, 
I would give it a C. I haven't been there in years. Not, it's not in my years. place. Not your place. Yeah. So I'll stay you're more, with... you're more of a more of a Jimmy John sort of girl, aren't you? I've never do, been I'll there do, either. I'll do wow. low, low, like, <laughs> low B, high C. Do you have that option? Oh, you can place it like like in accordance yeah, on the yeah. Yeah, far back. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. But on the subject of Subway, what was your favorite order from there? <laughs> Listen, I think the last thing I got from there was not even a sandwich. It was when they had the pizza. Because <laughs> I, I hated like every other option in the end. I'm like, okay, I have to choose something. <laughs> you hated every other option, but they had sandwiches. Yeah, I know. But I found a way to not pick a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it goes off to the sea. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I had a I had a a standard sandwich I used to get all the time, and it was like Black Forest ham, Swiss cheese, ranch, mm -hmm. uh, lettuce, tomatoes, wheat bread, toasted and bacon. I think it was something like some variation of that. I like added and took away like as the went on. But right now, it's probably the Italian BMT. And I I like to add the sweet onion sauce on that, that's everything. That's what I usually do. It's the sweet fantastic. onion sauce is fantastic. I do I I I haven't eaten there in a little bit, but I used to do double meat for the Italian BMT. Oh Jesus I Christ! You know me. That's the most calories. I know. I know, and I regretted <laughs> it every single fucking time. I would tell them double meat, fucking throw down cheese in it, and toast it, and every you, single you looked time. At no, so every single time I would take a bite, it was the equivalent of just getting a fistful of pepperoni and salami and just shoveling it in, into your mouth. Like, that's how much meat they used to put in it. You took a look at that calorie count, and you're like, ah, no, that's too low. You need to add to that. No, those, those are rookie numbers. Those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those numbers up. You know, it's like, even though I had the, 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 the sweet onion sauce, like, there was so much meat. It just no. That it dis the, the taste disappeared. Lettuce, sweet onions. Lettuce, forget about it. It was it was it was hidden in the maze of meat. Oh, you know, you know. I actually don't do lettuce over there. I do spinach instead. I do both. I do spinach and lettuce. Oh, wow. And then I, I like know. the uh, the bell peppers and then the no, not the bell. Mm. Yeah, the bell peppers and the the banana peppers. I I think what I got a veggie sandwich recently from there, and so no uh, meat whatsoever. Yeah, well, I the, I was like trying to like I like felt like eating healthy. Um, was it the veggie like, patty? No, it wasn't a veggie patty. It was just a straight. It was like a veggie delight. It was like I I don't even think I got cheese on it. Honestly, I think it was just straight veggies. Dude, but you just had a I put on between bread basically. <laughs> um, but the one by my house has the drive through has an electronic oh, screen that's nice so Dude. so i got to select i selected every option for the veggies and sweet onion sauce and dude let me tell you that's one of my favorite sandwiches now and i, I don't need meat or cheese i need a shit ton of spinach and sweet onion sauce and i'm set just just i don't know you know the more we talk about this i'm thinking i'm thinking about moving my rating up a little higher I really like Subway. I think this is A tier. Really? <laughs> we'll, we'll, still I don't keep know. It. we'll still keep it. At we'll we'll keep now. it. We'll keep it. We'll keep, keep it. it yeah, because I, I also don't know what's on the uh, on the list. All right. So All right, for so next on the list, list, we're gonna go with um. Uh, let's see. Denny's. Denny's. Oh, mm, this is a hard one. Because like the quality of food, like like it. Like you can have some good food at some Denny's, but it depends on like who's working at the time. Okay. And you can have some really bad food at Denny's. I've kind of got the best of both worlds, but it's it's like the spot at two a.m. when you're craving some pancakes. Like that's where you go. You go to Denny's. I've had a lot of memories at Denny's. So I don't know where to put this yeah. honestly, but the quality is lower than Subway, so I'm gonna go high C. Carla. Yeah, like a C. High C as well. High C, yeah, yeah, it's okay. just good middle ground. No. All no. reliable. What would you order at Denny's? 
This is engraving and mozzarella sticks. Not the same time. Different days. Uh, <laughs> not at the same time, trust me. Um, coffee, juice, water. Uh, I go uh, actually a lot in the mornings. Well, not a lot, but like yeah. when I want to. I'm not, I just, not really. A, uh, go on. No, I just get breakfast foods there. Mm. You don't yeah. stay for their steak or anything. <laughs> No, I've never. The, I didn't even know the, they had uh, steaks. To be honest, the, <laughs> the high quality delight that is a Denny steak. You know, you know, I have this tradition every year, every every uh, January first. The first, the first dinner I have of the year is a steak, no matter where it comes from. Like it, it doesn't have to be like the like. A, I don't have to go to a steakhouse. You gotta do. I, it's you just gotta be any Denny's steak this year. I I did that this the first year. I started off real low. I went to Denny's how and I had I got it? the get the T bone. It was no. it, well, so I I enjoy most foods. I'm not very picky, so I I liked it. I didn't like the A one sauce I put on it. That's how I learned I don't like A one sauce. But so A one sauce I, I, is I, is like what I use to drown a bad steak in. It's yeah, like if you're at a barbecue and you know. If, if the person grilling does not have those white New Balance dad shoes that everybody has while they're barbecuing, bring some A1, like, look for some A1 sauce, bring your own, it's not it, it's not gonna hit, so just drown it in A1 sauce and it, it kind of gives it some flavor. Some flavor. Yeah. I don't really like the flavor of the yeah, A1 yeah, some sauce. some flavor. Not yeah. the best flavor, but, but you can swallow it. But anyways, I, I went to Denny's that year, and the steak actually wasn't that bad, surprisingly. What year was that? Oh, God. I don't, even, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> it was right before I moved to Fresno, so I would put that in 2018. I think that was the, the year I started the, the, tr the tradition. So I've been doing it for like four years now. So we got yes, Denny's yeah. I can think of all. I can think of all four steaks. I've had. Okay. So we got Denny's yep. at a low C or a high C. High C. High C. High C. High C. Just Fruit yeah, punch. for me, it's just the breakfast. Okay. But I, like everything else, I'm not sure. All right, mm. you guys ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. That's <laughs> that's higher up for me. It's higher up, but for me, not too much because it's so like I get so much heartburn now eating it, and I, it's just because I'm getting old. But like every time I eat it, like it's so deep fried everything, like I get heartburn. So I'm gonna, I'll put it at a B though, because I think the food's tastier and it got me through. Yeah, for me, it's a B. I don't go as often as I used to. Mm -hmm. I think it it is like. I don't know what changed. The quality changed. It's worse than it it's used when, to be. It's when they introduced that teriyaki bowl. Everything's been downhill. Back in my day. No. <laughs> <laughs> 2009. But, listen, like every year uh, around April or May, they bring back their popcorn chicken. Oh, Ooh, their fucking I popcorn go, chicken. Can, yeah, are, I are go we... very often. Are we forgetting about their tacos, though? Which is like a staple of Jack in the Box. Those are so good. Yeah, see. They're so, so delicious. For me, it's a B. I'm gonna go B. B. Alright, alright. You guys are agreeing yeah. more than I thought you were going to. Now, would you put, I just, it, I, would you put it in front of Subway or behind Subway? Behind Subway. Oh, no. For me, it's... I'm oh, wrong. okay. Well, you shouldn't have said something about us agreeing, because here we are disagreeing. Yeah, <laughs> <Next> <laughs> the very next one. So why would you say um, it, it, it's it's behind Subway? I think I think it's behind Subway because Subway has healthier options, and the healthy options still taste great. Like 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 they both taste great, but I feel like just having the options to like maybe have that healthier sort of kick and still still have things taste good. I, I I think that's a little better. But doesn't Jack in the Box have like a side salad and the? I I'm never gonna eat oh. a salad from a fast food place. That's not a salad in okay. my eyes. <laughs> well, well, Subway's just sandwiches. Then it's like bread. 
Well, yeah, but I, I, I just, I don't know, I feel like the ingredients are, are a little bit better for you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I do feel like Jack in the Box mm. is tastier, but I'm giving, I'm going to give the slight edge to Subway because it has healthy options as well as unhealthy options. The meatball marinara slaps, but, so, but apparently, according to me, so is the veggie delight. Okay. So does <laughs> the All right, are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Oh, oh, overrated. God. No. Oh, okay. popular opinion. Overrated. Okay, it's good. Okay, okay. It's good. It's good. I'm not knocking it. It's a very great place to eat. Yeah. Dude, I I, mean, I it's think a... it. Okay. Oh, I, 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 I just, okay, just go on. Just, just, it's just overhyped talk. for you. Wait, why? I want to know exactly. Well, <laughs> people make it seem like it's the greatest place on earth, right? First of all, it's In and Out. And second of all, when I've gone, like it just, it's like okay, it's just a chicken place. Like the sandwiches are good, yeah. Um, the sauce is good, definitely. But that's it. Like it's just like a, a regular place. It's good. I'm I'm gonna put that B tier, definitely. Wow. Um, I'll put B-tier? a low B tier. Low I'm gonna B-tier? say low B tier. Are you? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. I just okay. realized. I I realized Jack in the Box is also in B tier. So yeah. I'm gonna go in between Subway and Jack in the Box. Wow. So you? Oh my god. It re- I really think it's overhyped. Oh I think it's god. good. I think it's good food. But you know what? You know who makes a better chicken sandwich? Angry Chicks, KFC, Popeyes. Oh, Angry Chicks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You but see. That- I hope that's on the list. I like angry it's shakes. Angry not. shakes. Yeah, <clears throat> wow. So we're starting off strong. <laughs> Take a shot to Chick Fil A. <laughs> I do agree. It is like overhyped. What, what, where, I don't where you... really like the sauce. When I get mm-hmm. Chick Fil A, I get just like the buffalo sauce and the sandwich. I love the sandwich. But <clears throat> yeah, why is good. there always so many people there? <laughs> Ex- well, uh, also um, exactly. If I'm gonna wait an hour and a half for my food, it better like change. Hey, my let, life. let me let me interject here for a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> I would personally put Chick Fil A at like um a high high A low S because nowhere will we, will you have someone in the drive thru run after your vehicle to hand you straws. Oh, the customer service customer I did not service, take into account. Customer service there is always top notch. I, I get that they're forced to say like "my pleasure" and all this and all that, and like have have a great day. But, but it feels even, nice. It does. Even if you're in that line, like they take care of you. If they see that there's cars piling up, they'll send someone outside to come help and take your order ahead of time. That way, by the time you pull up and pay, they just hand you your food and you're out of the line and 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 just just fine. Their lemonade, their lemonade, one of the most refreshing lemonades. And I just recently found out that you can mix it with sweet tea. So you have an Arnold Palmer with a delicious chicken sandwich and those waffle fries. Oh, <clears throat> waffle fries are good. Okay, yeah. I still think it's overhyped, but I'm willing to put it in a tier because it, I, I, it, the food is good. I just think yeah. it's, I just think it's overhyped, but I'm willing to put it in a tier. Because thinking about it, it should be a few steps higher than Jack in the Box, not right. Mm-hmm. But let me let me recommend their breakfast too. They have a breakfast. What? Oh yeah, they have a breakfast menu. Oh hell yeah! He said, "Oh hell yeah!" Dude, their <laughs> breakfast chicken biscuit with cheese is fantastic. Their uh, their hash browns and chicken bur- like breakfast burrito. That does sound good. With the uh, with the Chick Fil A, like I think it's like jalapeno sauce, mm-hmm. like morning jalapeno salsa, fantastic. You have the delicious Chick Fil A chicken with hash browns, eggs, and cheese. It is, man. man. Chick Fil A. I don't think I don't think it's S tier though, and let me tell you why. What What are you gonna do when you're really hungry and you want to go eat but it's sunday oh you're right yeah for me it's gonna be like an a hi hi okay Kyle. 
I, I'm I'm good with A. I'm good with A. Okay, you agree on A. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you guys made some good points. You swayed me. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys ready for the next one? Or I'm, afra- I'm no, afraid I, now. <laughs> well, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done this yet. What I, which I've been doing with all the restaurants so far. What is your order from Chick Fil A? Oh, oh, um, uh regular, you know, spicy chicken sandwich, that's waffle good, fries, Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah, mine too. So the <clears throat> spicy chicken sandwich, no pickles, no pickles. Uh, yeah, no, mm-hmm. ill, <laughs> no pickles. Mm-hmm. I was talking down to a B. <laughs> <laughs> With two of the buffalo sauce and a cherry coke. Oh, cherry coke slaps. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and slapping. like a mayo, mayo packet. Uh, you know, apparently you can buy their Chick Fil A sauce like in bulk, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, Walmart, Walmart sells it. Oh my God! There you go. Yeah, there's the plug. It's good. good. There's the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Walmart. All right. Should we do a, a supermarket a tier list after this? I mean, we we could. Oh yeah. We could. We could just make this a thing, but we gotta right. put Walmart pretty high now. All right, continue. Wait, what? <laughs> just because of the sauce? Sorry. Because of the sauce. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. Yeah. I hop. Oh, S tier, absolute. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, no. I, I like there. it. It's oh. good. I'm not knocking it. Okay, we have great but... food. I love their breakfast there. Well, well that's like well that's our main thing is our breakfast so okay but you guys are having steaks and denny's <laughs> like stop <laughs> okay, so so well we have steaks at at, at ihop too the country fried steak and the t-bone steak and the, and the steak tips anyways um i i i'm gonna say i'm gonna say oh i'm torn between b and a i don't want to be biased because obviously i work there and the food is good, and we do like like we're pretty clean. You know, we have good storage, um, but we're very very overpriced. Like our 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 side of bacon of four ships of bacon is going to charge you like four or five dollars. What the fuck? No, ex- well that, that that's my point. So I am going to put this at a low A, high B. Because just be, our food's good, but people have there are there. But I, 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 I'm fortunate. I work at a good IHOP. There are bad IHOPs, and we are overpriced. So that's where I stand on. Carla, I'll say B. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I, like, as long as we're above Denny's, though, I'm okay. You said low, <laughs> yeah. low A, high B. Yes. Okay. Now, is it in front of Subway or behind Subway? I think in front because it's it, it it's you can dine in. Okay. It's a whole other element that sub. Well, you technically can, but it's you don't have like it's a del- it's a mm-hmm. different experience. It's like okay. a fast food restaurant, so it's a hybrid, like a Chili's. <laughs> like a Chili's. It's Chili's okay. on this list. I'm afraid of Chili's. Oh no! No, Chili's is not on the list. Okay, good because our alcohol is gonna ruin us. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, let's. Okay, right, <laughs> I guess right, we'll do our right, orders. Are you ready for the? Oh yeah, what is your order from my hub? Carla, I'll let you go first. Uh, just like the basic breakfast, mm. like pancakes, Brown, eggs, coffee. Yeah. Ooh, co- our coffees. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've had better coffee, but, but it's not bad coffee. It's not bad coffee. Um, I have so my order. If I had to pick one, that's like my go-to. Uh, the California roasted turkey sandwich, but but and this is uh, there's a story, a little it's a short story to this. When we first got the sandwich, our cook didn't realize that we were supposed to put the roasted cherry tomatoes on it. So instead, he put the lingonberry sauce we put on our Swedish crepes because that's what he thought the recipe was, and that it it adds a sweet element to the sandwich that you would never normally think to do. So my my order is the is the Cali sandwich, no tomato sub lingonberry mm, and it's okay. so delicious i had it i actually had it earlier today <laughs> so delicious i usually just order a fucking omelet i'm just gonna be real oh our omelets are really good yeah, they're hard I, to make i do the omelets with a, a side of a uh, of pancakes and i always put that blueberry syrup on there it's so good oh it's good yeah we've got good syrup then i always have like a a cup of coffee, like coming, like continuously. Mm-hmm. It's, it's you just have to have coffee when you like eat at the breakfast well, place. 
yeah, yeah, of course. I, I will you, say, you know, you're out in the morning. I will say, I don't know if all high hops do this, but what I love about high hop is that the fucking coffee pot stays with you. Mm -hmm. It stays with you. And at other like breakfast places, like Denny's or like mom and pop places, there's always that person walking around with a pot of coffee. And like, we sometimes it, yeah, sometimes they just skip you or you have to ask for it. No, no. Yeah. At IHOP, I pour my own damn coffee. I'm a that, big boy. That's, that's partially because we're lazy and don't want to walk around the coffee pot. And that's fine. So we'll just leave it at the table for that's you. That's fine. But it works out for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next. All right, next one. Next eatery. Mm -hmm. McDonald's. Oh, ah, oh, this is another tough one, man. There's good McDonald's, but McDonald's is is the quality is not quite there. It's improved over the years. They've got better ingredients, but the quality I mean, but is it's still like not like staple fast food place. Well, that's and the thing it's is not bad. It's not horrible. It's not like I said. It's gotten better, but I don't think it's great. I don't think it's great. Um. I, I'm just thinking, like, where do I think of it in relation to Jack in the Box? Do I think it's better than Jack in the Box? No. no. But do I think I it's do. more of a staple? Yes. No, I, I, I think Jack in the Box burgers are, like, the wings. And they're bigger, too. See, McDonald's, they'll, like, slap a bunch of mayonnaise on a patty with some cheese, put some lettuce in there, put it in their box, and call it a Big Mac. But Jack in the Box kind of takes care. I'm going to put it, like, right underneath Jack in the Box. But see, no. Their quality <laughs> is cons consistent. Oh, Whereas yeah, right. Jack in the Box, I'm, like, I'm not sure. Is it going to be... Oh, you see, we've had different experiences. Be, yeah. So I've had me, some... It's like a yeah. plain A. For, uh, I... I've had some ink more. I've had more inconsistencies in my orders with McDonald's than I do with Jackbox. Oh, let me tell you the kicker. Let me tell you the kicker. When I when I DoorDash Jack in the Box, I don't need to select that I want a damn straw. Of course, I want a straw at McDonald's. I bought a drink. The past five six orders, I have not gotten a straw because I did not select it because I just don't think I need to select that I want a straw. Gotta save the it's just it, it's a, it's a small little rant, but it's just it, it gets to me. It gets under my skin when I gotta pop the lid and drink out of there. It's fine till it drips on my leg. Now I'm mad. Oh, now you're mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm your jack in the box. <laughs> <clears throat> and Carla, where'd you say you would put it? A. It's just like <clears throat> plain A. You gotta find a middle ground here. Okay, high B, high B, high B, high B. Because it's 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 around it's around Jack in the Box. Now, would you put it in front of IHOP or behind no. IHOP? I'd put it behind IHOP. Um, but it is more of a staple. I'll give it that. But I will put it behind would you IHOP. Behind IHOP. We're way more consistent with our food. Behind IHOP. Yes. Like, I'm, allowed I, to, I'm allowed it. to be a little bit biased. I want fast. If I'm getting fast food, I want drive through. Well, well. So, so the tough part is IHOP. It's it's kind of a restaurant fast food, so it's kind of a different experience than going in to, to McDonald's. Of course, it's gonna be faster. That was never a question. My thing is, uh, our food is way more consistent. What you what you order is what you can get every single time to a T. With McDonald's, I don't see that consistency. I don't. I don't know. But their Coke is really good. Oh, I forgot about the Coke. Their Coke? You mean the Sprite? They're both They're top tier. Sprite, dude. Like, if you look at top tier soda list, McDonald's, Coke, and McDonald's Sprite is, oh, it, is I S tier. I forgot what it was where I heard it, but apparently, like... McDonald's partnered with Coca-Cola, like they have the Coca-Cola hookup where they just put in more fucking syrup in it. <laughs> really? That's why really? it tastes no. yeah, I think so. I I well, think it's just the way that aluminum. they store it. Yeah, it's yeah. the way they store it. It it, it, it like it's something with the aluminum it keeps it colder and it, it like it activates the flavors more. But now they have those machines though. The the freestyle machines. Oh those yeah. fucking suck. Oh no. I'm not huge on those. No. 
I went to the movie like to the movies a, a couple months back. No, I think it was mm-hmm. uh, whenever that new um Marvel movie came out. Oh, Thor. Yeah. What? No, no. Before yeah. that one. Um. Uh, in Turtles. Madness. Oh, multiverse. Gotcha. And I went up to those freestyle machines because our, our like local theater has it, and it took me five taps and a punch to select my goddamn Dr. Pepper. <laughs> like, and I bet they had like twenty different Dr. Peppers. No, I'm fine. I'm fine with the selection. Like, I'm fine with the variety, but it's like. The touch screen doesn't work half the time, mm. and I don't know why. Like, you touch it five, it's... six times, and it, it doesn't do anything. But if I so happen to fucking breathe on, like, <laughs> on a different selection of soda, if, I, if my pinky, like, somehow, you know, flips a bit, and I hit fucking, like, crush, like an orange crush, it'll select it just fine. But no, it doesn't want me to have the Dr. Pepper. Let's just turn into a soda rant. <laughs> okay. Dude, free cell machines suck. I'm I'm willing to put it a step above IHOP. Only because they're founded a year before we were. So I'll give it the slight edge. <laughs> a slight edge. Okay. Slight yeah. edge. Very slight. Very slight. I'm I'm really I'm really given a lot here. Okay. <laughs> Only because I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to keep the pacing going. Really, I don't want to really sit here and argue. Corner here. Put me in a corner here, so I'm I'm gonna work my way out of the corner. So we'll what was your middle. order from McDonald's? Your favorite order? Uh, deluxe quarter pounder. <laughs> I'm a child, apparently. Uh, ten piece chicken nugget meal. Oh, that's good. Right. I'm a child. Plus. They're nuggets. I do my I do my chicken nugget challenge at McDonald's. Sometimes Burger King too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ooh, Burger no. King. Oh yeah, wait till we get wait till we get to Burger King. I'm sure I'm sure I've got a few yeah. things I'm gonna think about. Okay. So so for me, like McDonald's has always been like a good a solid place to go. Like whenever money's been tight, McDonald's had the dollar menu. Now it's like a dollar twenty five oh, menu. Yeah. And Bastards. it's like they, they've they've always been like that place where it's like, you know, if you're down bad and just had a shitty day, the golden arches is there to give you a hug and be like, Hey, here's some fucking nuggets. And uh Usually for what I pick, if I go there for their breakfast, God, we didn't even touch on their fucking breakfast. Oh, the breakfast is so good. Their hash browns. Oh, that's a game changer for me. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely above IHOP. Yeah, I, their hash browns and their orange juice are to die for. Dude, like, their orange oh juice God. is fantastic. I just recently great. discovered it. It's great. You just recently? Oh, man, you're so lost. You've been so <laughs> lost, but you've, you've been found. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, if it's breakfast that I'm going there for, I usually get um two of the uh the egg McMuffins. I don't like the sausage ones. I don't know why. I just like the like the, the, the nice ham with the cheese. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I usually get those and uh and the orange juice. The orange juice is really good. Um if I go there for like an actual meal, I'll just do like uh probably a quarter pounder, yeah. Huh. Just a quarter pounder and like some nuggets and a and a large sweet tea. I I still think that you know there's been m- many many times where I've gone to McDonald's and I want to get my burger and my drink, but I don't want fries. I want I want chicken nuggets too. I really think that they should introduce a meal even for limited time where instead of fries you get like a six nuggets. piece of nuggets. I think that would sell. It would. And I'd be the main buyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'll be there every day. <laughs> and then, yeah, like, they, they are very consistent too, like you said earlier. I think out of all my experiences of going there like thousands and thousands of times, I've only had one bad experience where I bit into a uh a egg McMuffin and there was like eggshell in it. Ooh. But that was like a that was like a rare occasion and that that's the only time. A little crunchy. Yeah, the little little crunchy. Little crunch. crunch. <laughs> all right. All right. So There's a, I, you above, just reminded I... me of a story, and if a certain re- if a certain fast food place is on this menu I, er, on this list, I'm gonna put an F tier right away. I'm just gonna like I'm very biased against. <laughs> oh this. yeah, me too. There's one spot for me. I hope it's the same one because <laughs> I really hope it's the same one for the sake. All right, <laughs> let's keep it moving. All right, the next 
the next uh next restaurant arby's oh <laughs> we have the meat um <laughs> You see, I'm, th- I'm I'm thinking that if we say the catchphrase is enough, one of us one of them's gonna want to sponsor us. <laughs> but it'll be it'll be one of the S tier ones. <laughs> um, solid, solid, middle ground, C, high C. C? Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. High C above Denny's. Solid, but not a lot of variety. Just mainly just meat cheese, but the, but the the French dip is really good though. The French dip is really good. It's really good, and the Wagyu burger I hear was really good, but unfortunately I haven't tried it yet. So what do I rate it if I've never had it? Okay, so you had Arby's. This, this okay. is a rare yeah. occasion where you need to look up their sandwiches. Oh God! But what they I have. Actually, this, what is they like. okay. this is not gonna be appetizing. This is not gonna look appetizing. It's gonna... <laughs> They oh. taste better than the look, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh god. And look at their menu. Uh should I do a local one? I think they're all the that... same. Yeah. Okay, I'll just do my local one. My local or these... I don't want to... Your local. No. I just wanna look at I just picture. remember there was a while when I was going through high school that we'd have Arby's like at least once or twice a week. It was just like one of the staples that like we just rotated in. To our dinner Dude, selection. I am not gonna lie. As soon this as this does not look bussin. I told you this? it's not gonna look good. It's, ta- <laughs> it, it's very tasty though. Is it? It is. That's why I said, but but it's not oh, like those the best. fries though. Those curly fries. Those curly flies. Curly flies. Those curly fries hit different. Hit different. But uh, yeah, are they better than Jack in the Box? Curly fries? Oh, no, 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 God. Jack the Box curly fries are good. Good God. God tier. All right, to me, honestly. Can we invent a new tier above S called God tier? And we're just going to put Jack the Box curly fries in that list and nothing else. (laughs) Maybe the tacos, too. (laughs) Um, But no, I was going to say, like, when I when they introduced, like, the the Greek uh, euros or the gyro, I think they're called euros. The the guy I know I know what you're thinking about yeah. the gyros or whatever I don't think it's called gyros but I could be the gyros right I forget I don't know yeah those it's... I gyroids. ate so many of those I got sick just because how good they were <laughs> oh I didn't see I, I didn't have that I ruined it for myself because I ate too many and now I can't eat anymore I can't look at them without like feeling sick that's the same with me and cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> It, it was a really, really delicious <laughs> middle school. You just, you just go <laughs> middle on a school cinnamon toast binge and you just can't have it anymore. Sometimes I'd have two bowls a day in the before Jesus. before school. Yeah, like I I got the cinnamon bite like like it was bad. And then one day I was like, oh oh no, I don't want this anymore. What do I do? And I haven't eaten it since. I don't know. I've had the dried cereal. I've had the dried cereal. So, Carla, where would you put this on the list? Kyle put it at a at a C. Did you say yeah, low C. Um, I I don't really care either way in relation to Denny's. I'd actually put it below Denny's. Thinking okay. about it, because I I'm gonna, I'm giving an edge to the dining experience. Yeah, below Denny's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is our lowest one yet. Arby's. Yikes. Arby's. <laughs> we we don't have the quality, but we got the meat. Or we also don't have the customers. Your favorite, your favorite order. Or the cult Arby's. with Long John Silver's. Um, French dip. Okay, Carla. Yeah, looking at easy. their menu, what would you order? Oh, okay. I just, I didn't look at the menu. Hold on. What do you What do you order? What I order? Um, man, I haven't gone there in a little bit. You can say the Wagyu burger. Yeah, the Wagyu I know how much burger, you like The Wagyu burger was really good. That that's what I had. I had one of those and their uh, orange creamsicle uh, milkshakes. Oh, that sounds good. Man, sounds really good. It was really good. I haven't had that one yet. Man, how, how am I supposed to? Uh-huh. How are the nuggets? Guys, do oh chicken tenders. Okay, Dude, <laughs> some I didn't of that. Really sold nuggets. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we just throw the uh, the Chuck E. the Chuck E. Cheese diner in on this list. No. <laughs> oh god um how how am i supposed to to have the the fortitude to not go get something 
some some of this fast food after I just got, just got back from the gym. <laughs> this is the worst yeah. thing for me to do is talk about all this food I can't have. What burger are you guys talking mm. about? I don't see it. I think it was it's a limited a, time thing. Yeah, it was limited time, but it was like the Wagyu beef. It was really good, apparently. Really Alright, I would choose maybe one of their chicken sandwiches, either mm. the classic or the buffalo. Oh, the oh, I heard those are good. Their buffalo I heard chicken those are good. really good. I think we were okay. talking about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. All right. Solid option. Are you guys ready for the next one? I might go try Absolutely. that. <laughs> oh, I might hit ah. a catch you at your local, <laughs> local <laughs> Arby's. They got right. the meat. <laughs> Panda Express. <laughs> Oh, oh God. F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier, no, F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier. Are you joking? I bit into a metal ring in my food. What the fuck? That's I could have bet F tier. No, I will. I've no. never eaten that. I haven't eaten that place in a year and a half. I will never eat there again, ever. I, okay, I but care just less about outside of that experience. Oh uh, no, no! I said I was going to be absent. You also have one in the bank. I'm using my. I'm spending oh, my bank. I I'm did going say F-tier. that, but then I didn't do it because it was Arby's. Oh. But then I oh. realized that I Wait, was was, was of- yours Arby's. Yeah. Well, that's just because you haven't eaten there. Yeah. So my, I've I've had a very I've had a bad experience. Also, I had an interview there. Worst interview of my life. Like F tier, solid. <laughs> the really final for answer. Me, it's like the top. That's the top for me. Final answer. My order, I, I'll have a bottle of water. Because I can look into the bottle to oh. see that there's nothing inside first. <laughs> to me, it's top tier. I'm you sorry. You can put I'm it sorry. wherever you want. I don't care. F tier for me. So we can meet in the middle ground and do like... I'll do C. That's fine. The food, uh, the food I, I had good food there. I just had a horrible experience and it ruined the place for me. Carla, where would you put it? What's the top? Uh, S? S. Yeah. S for me. Do we have to meet in the middle? <laughs> yeah, we do. We Sorry. We talk this out. And... And... I'm okay with C. I'm not going higher than C. I refuse. But just because of that experience. It was probably like, someone's nose ring, Carla. Do you understand the implications that Okay, had? but like, are we going to talk about Wendy's having a chopped finger in the we chili? Can absolutely, like, we can we can no, ask, and that's gonna take the rating me. down. No. No, no. Feel free to bring that up when we get to Wendy's. That's valid. <laughs> like, Wendy's that, is I'm awful. taking Let's every go. angle into oh. consideration, and bad experiences is one of them. So I'm going. I'm solid F here. I'm willing. To, I'm willing to meet you in the middle at C. But that's human error. It has. I'll put you at a high C. I'll put it at a high C above IHOP. I'm willing to do that just to move on past this godforsaken. That would be a high restaurant. B. High B. Hmm? Oh, oh no! What? <clears throat> no, that would be like a high C low B. That'd for be like me, a low B. It's good. It's like I look forward to it, and it's fast food. <sighs> Wait till you get a, a <laughs> ring in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are we do in this case? Because neither of us are gonna budge. Well, oh, no, yeah. I'm willing to budge. You're just not willing to step in on this one. Then I'll step Fine, in. Fine, I'll do okay. um <clears throat> low low B high. C- Okay. I'll do high C. I'll do high C. High C, okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I'll do high C. Ooh, in front of Denny's, below Jack yes. in the Box. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All right. It's over it. I'm over it. Let's move on. Kyle has the, uh. Kyle has the, um. The Beijing, uh, nose ring. That's my order of choice. <laughs> Carla, what, what do you have? Uh, a plate. I'll, uh, chow mein. Usually double kung pao. Or I'll do kung pao chicken. Or Beijing beef. Or switch it up with black pepper chicken. Mm, oh. Okay. Solid. I usually go for, uh, for a bigger plate. Because I like that extra side. I do uh, fried rice. Uh, the honey walnut shrimp. The uh, broccoli beef, and then depending if they have it or not, the firecracker shrimp or the or the Beijing beef. I forgot about the orange chicken. So good. 
I can't eat the orange chicken anymore. I don't know why. My, bro- my brother gets that a lot. I ate the orange chicken one day, and I just threw up right after. I don't know why. Like, it just, like, it triggered something in my body, and it's just like, get it out now. And I just, I don't know why. I never ordered their orange chicken ever since then. Kyle's like, I know why. I've had that same experience before. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I didn't throw up a ring, though, so it, it may still be in there. You know, I would be so mad if it was, like, a diamond ring or something like that. I could take to a pawn shop. I think I'd actually put a higher on the list. I think I'd put it in an S tier if that happened. <laughs> Alrighty, are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Yep. Del Taco. Where, wherever we place this, I'm where, wherever we place this, it Taco Bell needs to be one step higher. Because to me, they're the same, yeah. just with slightly different. Like, because Del Taco has no. burgers, Del Taco but they're burgers. not, but they're not good. But they're not good. <laughs> they have burgers. It's but it's a patty, it's ketchup, and buns that have been sitting in the back for two months. It's not good. It does have a gr- they do have a great guacamole and chicken burrito. It, that is fantastic. It's one of my favorite things to get there, and that's actually my order of choice from there too. But I I think Taco Bell is slightly better, and so wherever we place this, I don't really care where we place this. I'm I'm gonna put it underneath. I'm a little biased. I haven't talked about. It. But where on the list would you put it? Uh, I don't know. It, I don't really care. You still have all the other se. restaurants to take into consideration because you have Arby's. Day yeah, it has to be below or above any of those. Mm-hmm. So it's like definitely fast food. Fast food. Uh, I put it in B though. I would put it. I, I put it in a B. Solid B. B. So low B. Low, low B. B. So behind really? or in front of Jack in the Box and below Subway. Behind Jack in the Box. Behind Jack, Jack in the Box. Box. Okay. Yes. Because it's it's not bad. They've got a lot of, and they've got like like like, it's cheaper Taco Bell, and they've got some really good stuff there. It's just did not. It just doesn't quite have that same edge. So I would agree with you guys as far as like the B goes. Um, but for me, I know I don't matter in this in this occasion because I'm just I'm just hosting. Oh no! Yeah, you you got it. Your opinion but... matters too. I would put it in front of Jack in the Box, solely off of the the. Well, I would put it in front of the Jack in the Box. I put it in front of Taco Bell. Would you now? No. Just solely based off of the fact that it feels less automated, but but still has that fast food quality. Mm, in, you're right. In, in you're right. In words of like, you go to Taco Bell and you order. A quesarito or or a cheese gordita crunch or or a, or a crunch wrap, mm-hmm. it all comes out yeah. the same. It all comes out like it looks like it came out of a uh, of a machine. Sometimes, mm-hmm. Del Taco has a weird feel where it's just like here's your here's your food, but it's like you, slightly different every time. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna throw a counter argument at you. You just named four items from Taco Bell rapidly. Name four items from Del Taco at the same speed. Uh, the fried taco, the fish taco, the surf and turf burrito. Okay, you're, you you may continue. I was like, I that was a little test right there. I was like, if you can't even name the food items, like you could with with taco. Oh, dude, they're they're surf and turf burrito. Pass. pass. I was it's, waiting for you to bring that up. Yeah, no, the surf and turf burrito is something it's, that I that I miss dearly. It was shrimp with rice. steak, rice, and cheese. That sound really good. My goodness, did it slap on I've a nice a summer day? It's really good. But that that's where I that's where I lie. Um But right now Del Taco's Del- at a uh, at low B behind Jack in the Box. You go with yeah. that, Carla? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So cool. for for next next meal, next meal. or next restaurant. Mm-hmm. Burger King. Oh boy, here we go. Um They've got some solid options. And the food's gonna taste uh, like 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 you just went to Burger King, um, but, but I don't think it's that great. The place is all, I've had I've had some bad experience. Well, not really bad. It's just subpar experiences with Burger King. The quality is really dipped. The place is always dirty. They always would forget food that we you know in our orders. 
Um, and the food that we would get, it just wasn't it. It wasn't it. I, I'm going to put this in a low C. Low it's, C. Not yeah. D. it's not D. It's not what? D, but it's a low C. It's low Dude. C. Dude. I only... Oh, but, oh, hold on. Because I hate... I don't like the fries. Okay, the fries, chicken fries, are, fries are trash. Fries are horrible. The chicken yeah. nuggets are rubbery. But, like, they're Whopper? After, after 40 of them. Okay. That's another story. The Whopper, though. The chicken fries, too. Right. The chicken, yeah. so the, the chicken fries? Good. Chicken fries are good, and the Whopper is good, and that's the only two things on that menu that are worth getting. Dude, they're impossible Whopper now? Fantastic. If you just want some. I have heard that's good. Really good. That I Yeah. I have heard that's good, but still, my opinion's gonna gonna stand. Man, L low C, low C, low C. Okay, so behind yeah. or in front of Arby's? Oh, behind. Behind Arby's. Behind Arby's. Dang. Burger Dang. King really is like maybe like I think it tasted better when I was a kid, but I think everything tasted better. That, that was my childhood place to go. Yeah. Yeah, we went there a lot when I was a kid. It was right down the street, but. We we always look through. Everything seems so much color, more colorful when you're a kid. Now that I'm an adult, I can do the place and realize ah, this way is kind of isn't all that great. I think I was just hungry. Now order from Burger King. <laughs> uh, Whopper. I, I uh, do like the Whopper. Yeah, the what is the small Whopper? The Whopper Junior. Uh, yeah. the J Whopper Junior. Yeah. yeah. That or chicken fries. For mm -hmm. sure. I do I like usually, the chicken fries. I do the uh, the impossible whopper with cheese, and then I usually go for the the chicken fries and a uh, Hershey's Sunday pie. Oh wow! Oh, that's right. They do have those. Not about that. I've never had one of them, but I I do I forgot about that. Dude, they're good. I'm not a sweets guy really anymore. Neither am I, but I still go, go like grab it just for nostalgia's sake. It's good. Oh yeah, it's it's an everyone. Oh my god, I've got those iced coffees. Did I tell you guys about that? The ice. Coffee? I've got two iced ice coffees coffee. in my fridge, and they're both one of them. So they're both made by Hostess, mm -hmm. I think. One of them's Twinkie flavored. The other mm -hmm. one's a Ding Dong flavored. I mean, how those You're are. Ding Dong. I got them at the dollar store, so I don't know how good they're gonna be. I forgot about them. I got them on my Monday. I'll bring I'll bring them to work tomorrow, and uh, we'll, I'll try them there. I'll I'll let you guys. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. <laughs> Little Caesars. Oh God! Uh, fucking a, fucking a. <laughs> I love that place. Like like there, we've had some pizzas that aren't that great from there, but like, it never misses. When you're hungry and you're on a budget, Little Caesars. It's pizza, pizza. Like, well, I, I, what else are you gonna say? Where would you put it on the list? A, absolutely A. Yeah, a, an A for me. A for you. Behind yeah. or well, in front of Chick Fil A. Behind. Behind, behind Chick Fil A. All right. Behind Chick Fil A. Yeah. That was really easy. It's it, that's it's a solid place. It's just you just can't go wrong with with pizza. Uh, just a hot and ready. pepperoni pizza, yeah. Or um, if I'm actually, bread. yeah, that you I usually hot and bread. ready because like that's the point of Little Caesars yeah. to me, like quick so pizza. If I have, the but time, go ahead. Oh yeah, but the deep dish pizza is also. Really oh, good. it is. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Oh, I can't wait until we get to Pizza Hut because their deep dish is great. So um, so, what I usually uh, order from there, if I have time, I'll do the uh, the stuffed crust. Pizza that they have, mm. with a uh, with an order of the the crazy bread and the uh, the marinara sauce, but I'll also oh. like throw in a little bit of the uh, like the jalapeno cheddar cheese dip that they have. That hits oh, different. I've had that. I've had that before. It's really yeah. good. I think I was with you when I had that, Lewis. It's possible. Yeah, I've had. Yeah, I've that. That's it. But uh, yeah, no, Little Caesars has always been a place where. It's it is hot and ready. It comes out and it's it's always been good. Even if it's a shitty made pizza, it always tastes fucking great. Like that's the thing is, it's still gonna taste good even if it's shitty. Like if the pizza's not cut properly, which apparently is a real problem that we've had before, it's still good pizza. You just have a bigger slice or a smaller slice. It's still pizza. 
it, it's customizable. It's like an IKEA pizza. Oh wait, maybe not IKEA. <laughs> it's, it's... IKEA no, pizza. No. If, you want, if you want IKEA pizza, oh. you go to Papa Murphy's. You, you cut it no. yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is an IKEA pizza, you you're right? You make your own fucking pizza. Oh my god. Popeyes is such a scare. Uh, um, no, no, not Popeyes. Papa John's. Papa John's is no, such Papa a scam. Murphy's. Papa Murphy's. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Papa John's is the same thing, though. No, no, they, they actually scam. make their pizzas. Papa Murphy's oh, is, do they? is the one that just... Oh, I'm getting like, confused. Yeah, no, Papa Murphy's well, just that slides place is, food. place is such a scam. It's like, yeah, we'll give you it, but you gotta take it home and do it yourself. That'll be thirty four ninety nine. You You got an oven. <laughs> Yeah, like, what are you supposed to, like, how are you supposed to go on vacation when you're staying in a hotel and you, you want to get pizza? The only thing around is a fucking Papa Murphy's. What are you going to do with that? Just drive Nothing. Drive, that, drive that, it to the next town and go to fucking... Go knock on some random person's house and ask if you can borrow their oven for 30 minutes. Mm, as well. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Moving on, little season. Oh, Papa like, Murphy's yes. rant. Well, Pop, yeah. Papa Murphy's is not gonna give us a sponsor. All right, so next one on the list: Raising Canes. Oh God. D. Yeah. D? Well, no, come on. D. D. Nah. I I've had one. I've only eaten there one time, and the chicken was good. The chicken was very good. The, but the sauce, which is what they were, were were relying on for flavor, was super salty. Um, and it's just as soon as soon as I left, I told myself I will never go there again. I'm putting it at a D. Carla, that's a hard one for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do agree. Bland, overpriced. They do rely on their sauce. Oh. <laughs> this is on the internet? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you better start, you better start yeah. calling out some... Hey, I, I heard IHOP's a great place to work. Uh, are they hiring? All right. I can get you in at the one here, the, the one in my town. I could be looking for uh, I would say, yeah, because they don't... They basically only have one sauce, honestly. Oh, man. It's going to it in D. Yeah, you D. ask for a ranch, you ask for barbecue. No. It's a no from us. They, they, they need to stop raising their canes and start raising their standards. Damn. I'm not a fan of the cut of the fries. Those, like, uh, crinkle cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just not, like, it's nothing right home about. crinkle cut fries has, have always been, like, I don't know. I don't know. Crinkle cut fries have always been, like, the fries you can make at home that mm -hmm. you buy from, like, the frozen aisle at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have them when you when you make ha uh, hot dog or hamburgers at yeah, home. Yeah, exactly. Throw them in the oven on a on on a on a baking tray. Are you just ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. Oh, our 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 oh, yeah, choice. Your orders, your orders. Um, I like the Texas toast. Uh, Isn't Texas that toast. Well, regardless, it's good. Uh, the I mean, coleslaw was that. good. The coleslaw was good too. <laughs> Uh, oh my and God. chicken, but I would, but I would choose uh, hot sauce instead of the mm. raisin sauce. I, I did like the hot sauce. I and do that, agree. That's the first place I liked uh, coleslaw. Coleslaw's like, good. Oh, okay, like it's like Dickie's coleslaw is really good. That's uh, my favorite coleslaw. Dickie's barbecue. Is it on the list? Yeah. It's not on the list. Okay, good. I that that I may have had some very conflicting feelings about that place. <laughs> <laughs> the food's great, but I work on a bad experience. So. I think my order would be three finger combo. Mm. Are you guys ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wait, did I even read it? Yeah, you read it. Yeah, we we both <laughs> yeah we both put in D. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say like. Low C, but I guess I'll agree. Low C. On D. Yeah, D, D, I, I, high, high D, low, low I, I'm, C. I'm only, I'm only going D because we haven't actually touched that category yet. And like, we can't yeah, be too nice and not put anything in D. If we really don't like it, we should put uh, it in D. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah. So, I need you to pick a uh, high or low. Fuck. What, what is this D&D &D shit? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Five guys. Hi. Um, five Ooh, guys. Like is... Five guys. 
So, so the, what the, the, I like Five Guys. I do. I love that the fact that they just take a like half of a half a fry basket full of fries, throw it in the paper bag, and give you it. I love that. Um, the one thing I don't like is that there are no combos. It's all separate items, so that it's going to rack you up. But the milkshakes are really good. Um, I think they're a little higher. I will go low B. Maybe mid B. I'll go mid B. Mid B? Mid B. Carla, yeah, mid-, mid B. Wow. Would you do Carla, we should go get some food sometime. Apparently, we yeah. like the same places. <laughs> Would you Love do- the fries, the Cajun fries. Oh, they're so the, good. The burgers to me taste oh. like like a homemade burger. Mm. Solid, nice burger. Solid. And during COVID, those guys looked out for me. They did. They said, Kyle, if you they said if Charlie shuts down, you need a job, you let me know. I'll get you in. There you go. Okay. And Charlie shut down and I didn't let him know. But that's a different so, story. Would you put it in front of Subway or behind Subway? In front. In, in front, front of Subway. Of Subway. Behind yeah. IHOP or in front of IHOP? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm impartial. I really don't know because well, okay, okay, okay. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Now we need to compare the Five Guys burgers with the IHOP burgers. And that being said, I will say our burgers are better. I really like our burgers. Cowboy one, Cowboy burger, not so much. But the 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 monster burger, the bacon burger. They all slap every single time. Our IHOP sauce, you can't beat it. And that being yeah. said, Five Guys only has burgers. IHOP has burgers and everything else. So I will say behind IHOP, but it's a very close race. Carly, That's not dissing them. Behind IHOP? Mm-hmm. For the reasons I uh, just mentioned. It's good. But we have we have the same quality in burgers, I feel. No, but and we also have an expanded menu. No, no, no. no. Uh, but wait, does Five Guys have uh, onion rings? I haven't been there that often. <laughs> I, well, I'm, we we have onion rings and mozzarella sticks. Just saying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a low key plug. Um, I I I think I think. The only reason, the only, th- the only thing I'm taking into consideration is I'm going to put our burgers on the same playing field, but IHOP's got so much more to offer, which is why I'm placing it underneath it. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm I saying don't... it's more limited. Oh. <clears throat> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you so defeated. I'm sorry. <laughs> Below IHOP. Right. Are you guys ready for the next one? But I will say, I will say, there's nothing I want to do on Friday nights besides spend my time with five guys. Hell yeah! Um, what's we should we should do our orders? Yeah, what, what, what you guys orders? <laughs> it's a hell yeah! Like, I don't condone that, please. <laughs> um, um, I don't know my order actually. It, it's been a while. Just a bacon burger though. I think I, that's what I got last time. Definitely the the Cajun fries for me. And a burger. Yeah, yeah, what are they even? I think I put oh, that like oh, twice. And a milkshake and a milkshake. Oh, I got a funny story about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, so, so I was door dashing one time mm-hmm. and I door dashed. Uh, I wanted a milkshake really bad. I door dashed a milkshake from, uh, from Five Guys. But, uh, but when you go in the store, you can customize it, the milkshake a little bit. They've got a lot of, a lot of options. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know what I wanted, but I, I was feeling kind of like, you know, I was feeling a little, a little dangerous. So I, I ordered just a vanilla milkshake and I put in the notes section. I said, fuck it up, fam. I was like, I want this dude to just put whatever he wants on it. Because that's literally what I want. And he fucking gave me a vanilla milkshake. I'm like, I'm never going to order this again. He like, this was, a, this was a disaster. He fucked it up. But not the way I wanted it. Anyways. It's a good story, believe it or not. <laughs> I enjoy this story. He did indeed fuck it up. <laughs> he did. Are you ready for the next uh, next food place? Yeah. Let's see. Chipotle. Chipotle. Oh boy, this is this is a good one. The burritos are very filling. The chips are all right. They don't have the most variety, and I find that every time I go there, I get usually the same. Every time, and I'm not complaining because it's good. They also offer a quesadilla. And they do, do 
they don't. I don't think they. Do they have the Mexican store? The 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 burritos? Do they have it there? I don't know. They I haven't. Do. I haven't eaten there. Oh. Um. Ah. Uh, but I think it's good, so I'm gonna go low B. Carl, have you eaten Chipotle? Yeah, low B. Low B. Okay. I think we have a lot in the B category. Behind or in front of yeah, the taco? Like... Or, uh, in front front of... Yeah, in front. Yeah, in front. Yeah. Now, behind or in front of Jack in the Box? In front. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Behind or in front of Subway? Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think behind. Okay. Subway has a little, little bit more variety. Orders from Chipotle. White rice, chicken, uh, brown beans, fuck it up with some hot sauce, or some, some of the hot salsa, sour cream, lettuce, cheese. Throw in yeah, the bowl. I yeah, the bowl. I do the bowl. The bowl. Mm. All right. The burrito's really good, especially when you... So they fall apart easy, but you can get them double wrapped. And that holds it all together. Oh my god, it's the way to go. It's... Changed my life when I realized you could double wrap a, a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. In and out. In. Oh, top S tier, S tier, S tier. My first S tier. You can't beat it. <laughs> Secret menu. Animal style fries. You, there's so much you can do. She probably does. Lemonade slaps, the iced tea slaps, the soda slaps. People are always basic, friendly. Basic. Oh, as open fun. till open till overrated. Where would Over, okay, okay, okay. Where would I? I I'd be but, willing to think that I think it's overrated, but or so that I'm willing to think that I'm part of that overrating. I'm willing. One wondering where you put it though. <laughs> where would I put it? Damn. Okay, it's pretty high for me. Yeah, like a high A. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, wait, high A or like le- oh, like a low be- S? <laughs> no, it's just a high A. I guess not an S. But okay, but it still has food, right? What else of did I put on? <sighs> huh? Dang. Because I put like Little Caesars in A. Have five- you ever had? An animal sour fry with the chopped chilies. Changed my life. I'm born oh, again. Okay, you're right. Once I get that. Low S. I'm okay, low S. Yes, all right. Low S. Low yeah. S. First S. Yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> Don't tell her it's the first all one. Right. <laughs> I got her. She's <laughs> with the low S. All fine. right. Orders from in and out Double, double animal sour, animal sour fry with the, uh, animal sour fry with an icy. <laughs> Chill. I think he's about to go order that. Dude, I'm about. I almost went there after after the gym. <laughs> Trying to get the in and out sponsorship. Hey, Carla, you? What did I get? It, it's the number three. Just a regular burger. Oh, I get it so plain. No tomatoes. Oh well, see, that's I... why you wanted to rate it so low. You take all the flavor out of your burger. Yeah, I add the the little chili peppers. Oh, and they're so good. They're so good. Them fries. Oh, and my drink there. Uh, mm. What is it? What are they, they called? That pink, pink, the, the, the pink, pink lemonade's lemon good. Mm-hmm. I order pink lemon up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. And 7-Up. You know, one time they put the, the those chopped chilies. I get it on my animal fries every time. But the one time they put it on my fries, as a mis- uh, you know, it was a mistake. And I was like, fuck it, I'll just eat it anyways. And it was the best, best mistake ever. It was like it was like better than inventing the microwave on accident. Like it was just that good. <laughs> nice. I usually did <laughs> I whenever, really like it and out. <laughs> whenever I ate it and out, I usually ordered a a double double, um, and a uh, and a side of like animal fries. And if it felt it really is. spicy, I would order a a four by four. And then the uh, the animal fries. When I'm really hungry and dr- and pr- partially drunk, I get the four by four. Four by four is really fucking. It hits the spot. It's you know it soaks up the alcohol. It's it's my go to. It works. It's a good burger. All right, next place. We got Carl's Jr. Fucking mint. Um, 
it's good. They've got all the burgers are big, which is what I the like about them. Are big. They're big. They're they're like the only place that has like like their burgers look how they're advertised. They're big. They're good size. They come with a size um, of woman soaking herself with a hose in a bikini. <laughs> You see, I, I haven't quite had that experience yet, but I, I think I'm, I, I think maybe maybe the point. I think maybe the Carl Jr. down in Texas. I think though that's where you ladies come with, with the Dude, I, like, like I said, I don't know. Their commercials like became softcore porn at some point. <laughs> they really were. They were a little much. I was eleven, Carl Jr. I was eleven, Carl Jr. Now, now I'm a sinner. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> I'm gonna put an A. I think it's really good. I really enjoyed it. Hey, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. charbroiled, charbroiled burgers. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, the habit. I forgot about the habit. <gasps> oh, I hope that's on here. It's not. It's not. Oh, that, that's a high A. Dude, I I ate the habit whenever they first opened. It ruined my experience for the rest of the time because I got it like I... my burger was completely burnt. You got it extra charred. No, it's it's because they just opened and like they hired a bunch of new people and like I I went in. Oh and yeah, and it it killed it for me. I haven't gone back. Oh, since. I'm sorry. Yeah, that entries. sucks. It's really good too. Since like I haven't, I haven't. Yeah. A for Carl Jr. A for Carl Jr. Behind or in front of Little Caesars? For me, it's in front. I'm okay, okay. with that. Okay, behind or in front of uh, Chick Fil A? Behind. Behind. Okay. And your orders? Oh, I don't really know. You it used to be the Western Burger, so I'm gonna go with the that. Du- the double bacon Western Burger. Yeah, I know it's it, it's like the best one there. But I also really enjoy the Superstar. That that's like that's, I, I started adding that to the rotation. Yeah, that's the one you get when you don't want the bacon. Yeah, when, when you're when you're feeling like more of a classic sandwich, you get the Superstar. But if you want some something that's gonna hit the spot, you get the the double bacon Western Burger. Obviously, curly fries are king. Oh, I get yeah. curly fries, and I get a uh, soda, of, you know, orange soda, Dr. Pepper, Coke, whatever it is at the time. Uh, just the famous star with cheese, or oh. the spicy chicken sandwich. Like, oh, two of them. Oh, I, I didn't know they had a spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. It was very good. Oh, man. Maybe. I got to try that. I guess ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Long John Silver's. Oh, God. D, 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 D. D? D. <laughs> I don't I I just like the 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 hush puppy. That's it. I've never had it. It's, and it's, it's like so suspicious. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I I'm going to keep this short, but there's a lot of information with Long John Silver's. They were really good back in the day, and there was a totally different restaurant. It had a sea feel, and then they changed their ingredients and they started to dip, and then things got went bad, and then sales went down. Now there's a whole conspiracy about them being in some occult occlusion with Arby's. Um, and now they're just rude and barely relevant. But the hush puppies are good. Yeah, like how are they still a business? And that's what I asked them. <laughs> there was one across from IHOP. This is before I worked there. And I, I went in and I was like, hey guys, like I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just generally, I'm like really curious. Because I, I never really see anyone in your parking lot. I'm just curious, like, how are you guys doing? Like, are you guys okay? And then the lady was took that personally. And I probably shouldn't have asked that. I'll admit that. I probably should. That was probably a rude question to ask. But she's like, oh, no. We, we make all, all the money all year, like, like from Lent. It's this are religious they, like, holiday. laundering money? What's happening? <laughs> well, no, that's, that, that's where the conspiracy Run. comes into play. Because it's, it's the, it, they, they bought out Arby's. Arby's is owned by Long John Silver's, the company that owns Long John Silver's. And they own a bunch of other restaurants, too. I think, like, Hardee's as well. Like, it's it's a whole thing. There's like, so many videos on YouTube about it. Yeah, the pictures of this food just look sad. This is oh, like the no. mafia of restaurants. I said no? I said, oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look, all, I'm, all I'm saying, I've never eaten at a Long John Silver's, but Dude, they are in the middle of nowhere, and they're offering fish. I don't like that. No. And that that's kind of why people stopped going there, because when they changed their ingredients, because they were pushed. So before, they had really unhealthy food, but it was delicious. Like, I'm on, on my it. way to where I live now, I drove past bumfuck Oklahoma, and there was just a long John Silver there. 
course there was. And I, um, dude, I'm never gonna eat that. Wait, is, it, is F an option? It is an option. Actually, we should rename the F tier Long John Silver's tier. Oh no! Yep. Are we dropping Long Johns in there? We're dropping. We're dropping Long John. Oh, it, it, there, there's some like, like, look, like, it's just they're a mafia restaurant. I don't know what to tell you. There's yeah, nothing good comes out of Long John Silver. They take sleeping with the fishes literal. They, they're literally, they are the fishes that we sleep with. Oh no. They, they, their, their most, their most famous thing is when you walked out of the restaurant back when it first opened, when it was actually popping. It was competing with like one of the top restaurants at the time back in like the eighties. They had this bell, and the thing you did there is if you enjoyed your meal, you rang the bell. They ditched that, dude. They ditched that as soon as they did the re- their giant franchise like rebranding remodel, and it sucks now. There's no, there's no character. It, it's like, it's like seeing an old friend on the side of the street, and you realize he's thrown his way, his life, to meth. That's what Long John Silver is. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not being kind tonight. Let's move on. <laughs> Alright, next, Jesus. Next, next place. Taco Bell. Above Del Taco. Yeah. Alright. Taco Shop Supreme, like, like, Chalupa, uh, Quesarito, like, how can you compare? Do we have it the in, Mexican uh, pizza? Dude, stop. It's a fucking... It's a tostada. <laughs> I actually haven't had it because when they brought it back, it was instantly sold out. It's so dumb. I fucking hate it. Hey, but you know what? Their protein bowls are actually pretty good. Too. They got, like, black beans and rice and whatnot. I, um, ever since I gained my knowledge on uh, Taco Bell, well, I, 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 remember. I don't... I That would be an F for me. I no longer wish to, to eat it, eat their food. What's the knowledge? Uh, I don't know if oh, do you, you want, want to drop this, this knowledge on you. Uh, it's they, not good. It's going to take your, your mentality of it. Is it the beans? How they have to rehydrate everything? No, I didn't even no, know I about the beans. That. What is it? So It's it's along the same lines. So long, yeah. So, um, USDA goes by uh, by grading their meat. Like, you've heard of, like, uh, like A-grade like wagyu steak or something like that like a a grade meat yeah um there's a grading system for it taco bell uses the lowest legal grade meat you can sell to a human being in order to cut costs and keep their low prices so i believe they what i heard was they use grade e meat which is along the lines of like what you'd find in wet dog food so they're essentially feeding meat equivalent to wet dog food to people. Huh. Uh, well, damn, guess I'm a dog. <laughs> so, so here's what I'm thinking on that, right? We consider dog food to be like very low quality. Food. But when you really take a look at like what you're feeding your dog, most of the time that stuff's actually pretty good. And so, it's only disgusting because we've decided it's disgusting. I, that a, doesn't mean I'm going to eat dog. Working at a pet store, I found mm-hmm. out that um, realistically, you can eat wet dog food because it's, oh, yeah, just it's, like supposed, to, yeah, it's supposed to <laughs> it's supposed <laughs> to be made with that grade meat just in case there's like a, a shortage of food. We can eat wet dog food. Backup. But it's just cheap, so that we we feed our dogs it. So so what my what I'm going for on this is it's just because it's on the bottom of the pyramid of tiers doesn't mean it's it's not off the pyramid. Like it's still considered good meat. It's I, just there yeah. are a lot of other better meat. No, it's just I mean, weird to it's, me. It's a well known fact. You're gonna get the runs. Yeah. Most likely, if you eat Taco Bell, so it's not surprising to me. When and and when you really think about it, how high we listed McDonald's, can we yeah. can we take a second to think about how they used to make their food with That's the true. pink goo that they spray yeah. painted, and we still put it that high? I yeah. think Taco Bell, although it is, although we have learned this or fact, the, the subway was still... questionable tuna. You know what? Where you, when you're drunk at two a.m., where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go to Taco Bell? That's true. Well, you can get that Crunch Up Supreme. You're gonna get that, you know, that that beefy five layer burrito, and it's gonna slap each and every time. 
and, and the Baja you just switch out for the chicken. Oh, and can we talk about the Baja Blast? Yeah. <laughs> that is the best creation this world has ever seen. A Baja right. Blast. And now they sell it in cans, too. Hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm still, although I've, th that's some unselling information, I'm still going to put it above Del Taco. Okay, alright. Favorite Ooh, meal they're... from there? Mm hmm oh, Okay. Third Cinnabon Delight. I, yeah, the Cinnabon Delights. Ooh. Love that they have that. But I get... Dude, I hate that they only, that they only sell them in, like, packs of two. Like, come on. They have four. Come on, and like a 12 still... pack or something. Exactly, yeah. dude. Come on. Like, load that shit up. Put it in a bag. <laughs> what do I get? Uh, the chalupa, the beef mm. one. Mm. Or a soft taco, like the plain one. Mm. The, just the lettuce and the cheese, but I add chipotle sauce. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I, I get a crunch wrap supreme, sometimes two if I'm feeling like a fat ass. And two the five the a beefy five liter burritos and a Baja Blast. That's like it, I'm pretty standard with it. sometimes I'll get like chalupas or something instead of I usually get my crunch wrap supreme and so, and one or two other items and a Baja Blast. Dude, when I get when I go to Taco Bell it's like fat boy mode. I get two mm -hmm. quesaritos, um, a cheesy gordita crunch. A burrito supreme and a fucking Baja Blast. You're lucky Taco Bell's closed, or else I'd leave this this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and you know what? And in a weird way, all we're think, all, all I'm realizing now is that Taco Bell is safe to feed your dogs. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, please don't, don't, please don't feed your dogs Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, no, just disclaimer. Don't, don't, don't order. <laughs> if you, uh, if you. Take I'm, anything I'm that doing, we say. I'm doing this while shaking my head, yes. Don't feed <laughs> your dogs Taco Bell. Do not get them a delicious five-layer burrito. Do not get them the wonderful cheesy gordita crunch. Taco Bell, do not sponsor us. Absolutely we do not want a sponsor not. from you. Please. Wait, hold up. You did, if, is this why they had the Chihuahua? Oh, what? no. Do you remember Yo Quiero Taco Bell? Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> they, they, they showed their hand. <laughs> they were the... trying to tell us the whole time. <laughs> the signs were there. We just didn't know how to read them. Oh, man. All right, let's move on. Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> I don't know now. <laughs> Go for it. Wiener schnitzel. You know, I don't have a whole lot of opinions about this place. I, I've eaten it. It's very cheesy. Um, it's all right. It's all right. C tier. The C tier, okay. Carla. Low C. Low C behind or in front yeah. of Burger King. Behind. Okay. I think. I I think the food's equivalent to the type of food you'd get served when you order at an amusement. You're right. You're right. That's exactly how it's been. Um. Wiener Schnitzel, you can literally make that shit at home. It's a chili dog. You can't go wrong with a fucking chili dog. They no. have fries. Oh, they have... It's mainly a, It's mainly like a burger place, but instead of burgers, they have hot dogs. They have hot dogs, drinks, and, and, and of course, like fries. And it's un-American. They have corn It's dogs. a German name. It, it's just... What, it, what, you're selling American food with under a German name. It's confusing. I don't understand. All right, Makes I, me frustrated. That's I just, I'll just go to McDonald's. I usually just order a chili cheese dog and a fucking corn. Yeah, yeah same. not a corn dog, a chili cheese dog and a and a drink. I've, I I've, I usually last time I had it, I got a chili cheese dog and a chili cheese burger mm, and a drink. Okay. The burger was pretty good with the chili on it. It's good. Mm. Carla, <clears throat> just a plain hot dog. <laughs> Basic. No, the chili cheese. <clears throat> chili oh. cheese. Yeah. All right. How many more do we have to do? Have I'm just curious. More. We can stop okay, good. at any point in time. No, no, no. I'm game. No, let, let's knock them out. I just, I didn't know how long this list was. Wingstop. Wingstop. Okay. Okay. Um, the wings, although I do enjoy them, are not the highest quality. They're not. However, the voodoo fries don't miss. The voodoo fries do not miss. I'm glad you. They brought do that not up. miss. And you know what? And you know what? And and I, I'm gonna break. It's kind of a tradition that I do as well. 
uh, first week of well, actually, I can't. I don't really do it anymore because I just realized I haven't had the opportunity. But obviously, my football team, Louisiana, right? I get the voodoo fries and I I watch our first game, mm-hmm. and it's kind of something that I did one year. I wanted to make it a thing. Mm-hmm. Turns out I'm going to Vegas instead. I guess that's okay. But it's they they don't miss, and they're decent wings. They still offer you the carrot and celery, like like Buffalo Wild Wings does. But uh, I'm gonna put them B, low B, maybe high C. Carla, have you eaten a uh, wing sub? Low B, yeah. Low B, All but right. I haven't tried these voodoo fries. They're, oh, they're you really gotta good. get them. Yeah, it's like you Cajun, gotta get them. Cajun seasoning with um, what is imagine, it? Imagine, imagine the Five Guy fries, but with like cheese yeah. and and other and all a bunch of other goodness on and like sour cream all. Over. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I still don't branch on those things too. Oh, absolutely. I, I, oh yeah. No, if you're not dipping that, if you're not dumping ranch on it, you're doing it wrong. So would we put it? You said B or C? Uh, we're doing low B. Low B. In front of or behind Del Taco? For me, in front. Okay. In front of or behind Taco Bell? Behind. Behind Taco Bell. I like. Oh no. Um. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's kind of in between. Or behind Jack in the Box. In front. I don't know. I'm going behind. No, I thought it was in between Taco Bell and Del Taco. Is it not where we we said we were going to put it? Okay, yeah, we can yeah. We can, we can leave it there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's I think it's a good home. Good home order from Wingstop. I can't think of the name of the spice that I get. Oh, let me look up there. There's there's a certain uh, certain heat level I like to get. You do like the Cajun or like the the Caribbean jerk. I, I, uh, I think it's. I think mine I think was. Cajun. Hold on. Oh. Lemon yes. pepper. What's good? But I I like just the basic buffalo. Oh, the um. And the buffalo. pepper. I I get the I I get the Cajun that and that's like a that's that's like a really good gauge for me too. Um, that's about like like around my peak when it comes to to heat. Yeah. So what I usually did is like if I'm feeling spicy, I'll do the mango habanero. Um, but Ooh. usually I just stick down and like go for flavor. So I usually go for like the lemon pepper and the garlic parmesan, and then I have the uh, the order of the voodoo fries and a brownie. Hmm. You always get the dessert when you go you out to eat. You have to. It's good. It's a must. I haven't got. I. I. Yeah. No. I haven't gotten the desserts from very many places. I've gotten the pies from McDonald's. Apple the pie. strawberry cream pie from McDonald's is pretty good. Oh, I. I see. I haven't had that one. I didn't know that was a thing. I guess ready for the. I next just. One? I. Yeah. Pizza Hut. Pizza. Okay. But- Ooh, no. Okay. Cheese. Right. But I used to love Pizza Hut. Same. But that cheese, though. The it, cheese no. is interesting. No. Um. For me. I I love the crust. I think they do their crust really, really. They good. were the pioneers of the stuffed crust. They were, yeah. yeah. I, I, I quite enjoy them still. I, I see what you mean about the cheese because I can, I can kind of taste it when I'm, you know, when I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, it's, it's different. Uh, but I don't hate it. You know, I, I still enjoy Pizza Hut, mm. not as much as you know. I, I have more. I have other preferences, but that crust is really good. So I'm going to put it in a icy. Because we put yeah. too many things in low B. Yeah. <laughs> so I put it high C. Now would we... Oh God. Would we put it... In front of or behind Panda? Oh God, don't ask me this. I'll play nice in front of Panda. Okay. Cause I love, yeah, I do. My favorite food, I think, would be pizza. Pizza. So. Yeah, pizza. It's, 
I and you know I ate pizza so much as a kid, like it was our our pizza place. So like it's got a special place in my heart. Dude, it's my yeah. child. It's like yeah, yeah. My childhood food is pizza. I still love pizza today. Mm. And now every time you see an old Pizza Hut building, it's actually just like a car insurance oh. place on the inside. Dude, stop it! Yeah. It's too real. It's too real. <laughs> You can, okay, still, let's move. you can still see the the roof in the shape of the, <laughs> of the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been painted white. Yeah, oh, it's tragic. Um, order I don't just standard probably stuffed crust or like standard uh, pepperoni pizza. Yeah, extra pepperoni. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, for me that oh, cheese wow. is really weird, so I just do like extra sauce. Oh, I thought you were gonna say cheeseless. You gotta the cheese. Cheeseless? Yeah. Oh no. No cheese, please. Lewis, remember the one time we got a cheeseless Dude, I don't pizza? I want to talk about that. <laughs> oh, wait, hello. I do. I want to talk about hey, that. Well, well, first look, of all, I love it was Little Caesars. Look, I, I showed up to, to hang out with them, and uh, they're like, oh. Lewis, it was your house. No, it was, it was, uh. Well, this is multiple times. No, it was, it was just the one time, but it was at, a. Uh... I remember this being at your house on like New Year's. It was at Rachel's house. No, it was at Rachel's house. Oh, you're right. It was at Rachel's house. I I come in and they're like, "Oh, Lewis, we 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 bought pizza." I'm like, "Oh, cool." And they're like, "Well, we we made yours really special." I'm like, "Oh, cool." And uh, they're like, "This one's specifically for you." I'm like, "All right." And then they open it, and it was the most depressing pizza <laughs> I have ever seen in my entire life. It was. <laughs> It was the sad. It was, it was little Caesars. It was the crust, with a little bit of sauce, and a little bit of pepperonis on there. When you would, <laughs> when when I picked up a slice of it, the sauce was too much weight for the the bread, so it would bend <laughs> down, and the sauce and the pepperoni would fall off of it. <laughs> but I was so like grateful, and I loved my friends. I still love my friends. You made it special for you. I I took it, like it was a really really good gesture, and it made me really happy that you guys thought about me, and like you guys remember that I was lactose intolerant. And I ate that pizza with so much pride. But I fucking hated every second of it. Oh man. We should have like put that pizza on top of ours and made like a super pizza. It's actually sauce. But yeah, that was really depressing to eat. Man, how do we get talking about this? <laughs> oh, oh, Pizza Hut, right, right, yeah, right. Pizza. Um, where do we put it again? We put it in a we in put a high C. High C. I see. I see. He's ready for the next one. Yes, absolutely. Domino's. Domino's S tier. I love yeah. Domino's. It's my favorite meal place. Oh. 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 You don't like Domino's. Oh, I don't like. I'm Domino's. sorry. I'm sorry. After six, after six orders, a free medium pizza is not. Yes. Like, that doesn't tickle your fancy. I like, love what's that. going on here? No, dude. It's I, like it's like the snack that smiles back. I hate their Domino's. Pizza. I hate their pizza. Yeah. <gasps> I hate their pizza. I'm wow. saying that now. I hate their pizza. Wow. I hate their pizza. I love their sides. The audacity! Oh, you're talking about you're talking about like like their pasta because their, their pasta really good. fucking slaps. Their, Pasta's their, good. Their chicken carbonara. Oh. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. I love because you still said they have got good food. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Domino's has good food. I hate their pizza mainly because of like I don't know what kind of like cheese they use or toppings that they use. Every time I have it, I have always felt sick and I always feel like I need to throw mm. it up. Like it's very just, greasy. It's exactly. It's super greasy and it's super oh. heavy. The crust is probably by far one of the best crusts because they have that garlic crust. So oh, it's good. Yeah. Usually, if like I have Little Caesars, I'll think twice about eating the crust. Um, sometimes you just don't eat it at all, depending on how you feel. Domino's. If I make it to the crust, I'll eat the crust because it's so fucking good. But I don't like their pizza. I genuinely don't. It doesn't matter what it is. I just don't like their pizza. I love the the chicken carbonara. I love their pastas. I love mm. their. They have spinach, uh, feta or something. Yeah, spinach feta bread. Mm-hmm. It's the most like buttery, flaky, 
cheese and spinach filled bread you will ever eat. It is the best thing it's to great. eat dipping in marinara right. sauce. Oh man. They've got this garlic sauce too. Dude, oh, exactly. Man. The garlic yeah. sauce. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I'm getting I think I like gained five pounds just thinking about this. Yeah. Food. But yeah, no, I I their uh their pizza is not great. I it it hasn't been great for a little bit for me, but their sides are good. If I would put it on a list solely for their pasta and their sides, I'd still give them a high A. Mm -hmm. But, but with uh, the pizza included. But you guys, yeah, with the pizza included, uh, high A. Or no, with with the pizza included, I put it at like a B. high B. No, I put it. See, you really don't like their pizza. Yeah, I don't really. Don't uh, like pizza. I I have a lot of really good memories with Domino's, like during tough times, like we had Domino's. You yeah. know, and that was like, and that was like mm -hmm. us treating ourselves. Like we got a little bit of money, let's get some Domino's for dinner, right? Yeah. And then I get I get the pet the the pet. This is the, so I I learned this trick, and it's fantastic. I do it every time. I get the the pepper flakes, the red pepper flakes, mm -hmm. and I put it in my ranch. And I use like the tip that's, of my pizza to kind of to stir it, mm -hmm. to stir it, uh, and every bite, it's 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 you get the ranch, a little bit of spice, it's fantastic. It's a good. And I always get the deluxe pizza every single time. I love the deluxe. So we're putting it on S tier. I I I, I would put it S tier, and I'll be nice to Carla and say it's above In and Out. Okay. All right. Nah. You, were, okay. you were nice to me on the Pizza yeah, Hut one. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, we returned the favor. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. All right. Order from Domino's. You said it was a deluxe pizza. Mm -hmm. Uh, extra pepperoni, just regular. Um, with that garlic dipping sauce. Oh. Oh. Yeah, mine was always just like a a normal medium pizza. I didn't I didn't go too big with them either. Medium pizza with mm. um. It was sausage and pepperoni. Mm. And then the uh the chicken carbonara and the and those feta cheese sticks. I often get the chicken bacon too. That's a good combination. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, next one. Wendy's. I don't really care about Wendy's. I don't care about them. I heard that they have a baked potato that's really good. Their square burgers are the hipster burgers of uh, uh in the burger world. Um they just gotta be different. Uh but I don't really care about them, so I really don't have an opinion about them. They're just kind of there, you know. It's it's like a like a Frosties. I like like I'm sure it's great. I just I don't I just don't have a whole lot of experience with the place. I really can't place it. Really? Yeah, for me, I only go there for the fries and a small Frosty, vanilla Frosty. Mm. Frosties aren't good there though. Mm. Yeah. But I don't really care about the rest. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. In my experience with uh, with Wendy's, it's usually been like, oh, nothing else is open. Nothing's really like close by. Oh, there's a Wendy's. And and that's how it's been. They do have something that I recommend you try, and Kyle. Would be their mm -hmm. uh their. I think it's like their. Their spicy honey chicken sandwich. Oh, that does sound really good with the honey. That's different. It's it's dude. It 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 hits really good. It's a crispy chicken sandwich, but they have like a it, it's like spicy honey. Mm. <clears throat> and they have like fried onions in it and everything. It's real good. Sounds really good. But no, it's a it it's it's all right. Where would you guys? Yeah, put it? I don't I don't really know where to place it. I mean, I don't think it's bad. I don't. Um, I just don't think it's like to write home about. Um, I don't. I don't want to put it in a deer. It's not. It's not that bad. I'm gonna go like mid C to high C, just because I really don't mm -hmm. have a preference. I could. I'd be willing to go be, B. Mid C to high C would be in between Burger King and Denny's. I would place it above Burger King, underneath Denny's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we don't need to do orders on this one because you guys say you just get the frosty. We just, uh, yeah, the frosty, frosty. Yeah, uh, I like, but I do like their 4x4 deals where you pick 
They're like tiny items, but oh, you so get like, like a burger, or something so... like that. Yeah, the nuggets, and then the mm. frosty. Right. Mm. And then I add a frosty. All right, next one, Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> food? Huh? <laughs> um. <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. So so the food is all right. It can be good. It can be good. Food's all right now, but we're not. When we're talking about Sonic, we're not talking about Burger or the, the cloning dog. We're talking about the blizzards. We're talking about the ice cream. They don't. Have and for that alone. Well, no. Okay, no. I I was just using D that term. It's, the it's, one with the blizzards. No, no. Well, I no, no. Okay, well, I'm talking about the the, the ice cream. They're okay, they're okay. milkshakes. Yeah, yeah. I just used. I just said blizzards. Slushies too. Um. What's it? Oh, they, that's right, and they also have slushies. That alone, I'm willing to put them in a low A, but their food is not the greatest, so I would also go high B, but either one I'd be happy with. Oh, no. Uh... I don't know. It's kind of a tough one. I would go low B, high C. I would put it in C. See? Really? You guys don't really I, know? Okay. I like, this li like, I would only get a slushy and maybe, like, tater tots. Yeah, same. Mm. I usually did the, uh, I did, like, the nerds slushy. <clears throat> and then, so you guys have never, oh. And then, like, a, a chili dog. So you guys have never really had the ice cream? Mm -mm. I recently mm, tried their, their Sour Patch one, and that one was pretty good. There's, see, see, so the, the the slushies are good, but the ice cream is really where it's at with Sonic. That's okay. that's what makes Sonic that, and they have the best ice on the face of the earth. Jesus, <laughs> they okay. do, they do. There's a there's a lot of tier tearless videos about ice, which is strange saying that, but it's true. Um, the ice cream is really where it's at. I think it's a little bit higher than I. You guys say C, I'd go low B. Because I think I think you guys haven't really truly experienced uh, that. I think once you guys have had some of the ice cream, you you think it's uh, behind or in front of Del yeah. Taco. I put it around Del Taco. Um, I put it maybe maybe behind because I'm just talking about ice cream okay. in this yeah. case. Yeah. Are you, are you okay one. with that, Carla? Yep. Yeah. Another one. Okay. We don't have to worry about uh orders. Yeah, I, it's just for me. It's just a milkshake. To, I, you know, I, I think the Snickers milkshake is what I get a lot, or the Oreo. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. KFC. Thing are looking good. Um, first of all, they have a, an amazing game. Um, their spicy chicken sandwich with a side of mashed potatoes. You put the mashed potatoes on the sandwich. Slaps. Their famous bowl slaps. Their chicken slaps. Their biscuit. Okay, we don't want. I don't think I want to talk about biscuits. Their biscuits choke. Um, oh, why? Biscuits choke because because you because they're so fucking dry. It's like the worst thing about them. But their mac and cheese is good. They have a lot of really good sides. It's a good solid place to go when you know when you're having you when you you need to think about what to get for dinner. It's a good solid place to go. And they've been around for forever, so I would go solid B, maybe mid B. And that's with the biscuits. Yeah. Now, Popeyes is on this list. We'll we'll get to that when we get to that. Yep. B. Yeah, mid B. Where would you put it in between? Okay, let me see. One, two. There's so much <laughs> B and C. So in Wait, in front we of forgot about A. What did you forget? We're we trash. Have, we have an A category which we've just been neglecting. We no, no. You have Little <laughs> Caesars, Carl's Jr., and Chick Fil A. We have three, and we have like twenty in us. The other two. <laughs> I mean, put, it's still so fast food. Would you put KFC in front of Jack, Jack in the Box or uh, or behind it? Um, I don't. They're kind of in different worlds. They are almost. Yeah, they I'd are. But it. you know what? I would too, because chicken, like something about fried chicken, it just hits yeah. In you. front, in, in front, front of, yeah, or behind yeah. Chipotle. In front. In front of or behind Subway? <laughs> in front. In front for me. <laughs> in front or behind Five Guys? In front. Let's bump this up to A. 
Fuck okay, it. We're already going that way. Low A or or high A? I go low A. Low A. So we're behind Little Caesars. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 they, those spots could be rearranged. They could. They're about the same level. What's your order from KFC? Uh, the famous bowl. It's it's like the perfect thing for lunch. The and their lemonade's so good. Their sweet tea's really good too. Yeah, it's one of their meals, like a single meal. I think it's the three piece or something like that. Mm. Three mm. piece with fries. Do I get the fries? No, I get the mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm, so good. Mine would yeah. be the uh, the twelve piece chicken tender meal. Boy, because you usually oh, share that with uh, with Kim. Yeah, and, uh, we get it with a uh, a side of mashed potato and gravy. And then we also get the biscuits, like a, I think it's like a three pack of biscuits. Mm -hmm. And what I usually do is I, I get uh, honey from them and I'll like pour some honey on the biscuit, make it a little bit moist and it, it helps out a lot. You, you know what I do? Okay. I split the biscuit in half, like mm -hmm. down the middle, on the, through, mm -hmm. like by the side. Yeah. Not on top. But, and then I, like, make a little sandwich, <laughs> but I just put butter and honey and mm. close it up. Mm. No, did I, see. I pour, the, I I pour the, uh, the honey, in, like, on the biscuit, take a bite of the biscuit, and then take a bite out of the chicken. And, man, it, it just kind of makes it really weird. <laughs> you guys are missing out on the true sandwich with the biscuit. Mashed potatoes and gravy and a little Ooh. That sounds really fucking good. <laughs> that, that's how you really eat the biscuits. Big brain right there. Um, they the also have a have a mac and cheese bowl now. It's like the famous bowl, but with mac and cheese instead of mashed potatoes. Me too. I know, it's limited time. Going through this like food tier list, I'm kind of like going through stuff, and it's like, man, I really do like these places more than others. Yeah, man, it's absolutely. Gonna, it's going to help out with like deciding on where to go next time. You're just going to take and take the first three tiers, yeah. and that's what you're going to go to. Send me the list after we're done. <laughs> yeah, just send me that in a PDF, please. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah, absolutely. All right. The next one is Pollo Loco. I don't really Pollo. care about El Pollo Loco. I, I, I haven't had. I haven't had it a whole lot. I haven't had it, but I hear it's really good. It's good now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look up the menu. This is that's an I'm... A for me. That that high. Yeah. I think, they're, are they the ones like cilantro lime rice or something like that? Yeah, and they the jalapeno sauce. Ooh, love that. Oh, this does look pretty good. They're uh, like, they're like it looks like it's like, it's different that's too. no Taco Bell dog meat. Like that's you know is, it's chicken. <laughs> okay, so I I'll put this above Taco Bell for sure because the, the ingredients look like they look way like it's still not probably healthy but it looks like it's way better um, the one in town i think in in where you live um they have like all their chickens like on like a, a big old grill and like they i i really good i so when i was doing doordash i i actually got to go there one time and i was watching them do that i thought it was so cool so based on what i was i saw just now um i think they're above kfc I think they're like a better KFC. They they really are. They really are. It's it's really good. Size look better. The chicken look good. So Carlos um, said A, so we'll put it above KFC. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Do their mac I'm and cheese. So many really ideas. Good. Like, oh, tomorrow I want to go here, and yeah. then you mention a new place. <laughs> Man, I gotta try El Pollo Loco sometime. Are you ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Where's it at? Uh, Popeyes. I was waiting for this one. Oh. Um, I think it's better than KFC. I do. The biscuits you can actually eat without having to, to swallow a gallon of water afterwards. Um, and <clears throat> they kind of pioneered the spicy chicken sandwich. People have died for them. I would have been one of them. Um, it is. <sighs> So I think it's about KFC. I just don't know if it's below El Pollo Loco or above. I guess it's Carlos Call. For me, honestly, it's below KFC. I, I prefer so. KFC. Yeah. Oh, you prefer? Oh, you prefer KFC? Okay. Well, why do you prefer KFC? So I'm kind of in the same boat, but for different reasons. 
Okay. For me, at KFC, the again, the quality is consistent. With Popeyes, it hasn't been. But I do like that Popeyes has, like, more flavor stuff. And, like, their mashed mm -hmm. potato was even different. Oh, yeah. So my thing with them is I prefer Popeyes chicken. Mm -hmm. But I like KFC's sides better. Oh, that's really good. Because I mean, they're mashed potatoes and gravy. God, man, I could drink the gravy straight from a cup. Yeah, from KFC, the great. Yeah. Oh, so so the the thing about KFC and Popeyes is they're both chicken restaurants. So I'm gonna give the edge to Popeyes because. At the heart of it, it's really chicken. It's a chicken on chicken battle here. No, yeah, yeah. And I exactly. think I think Popeyes, although the sides may not be as good, I think that they have better chicken, and they did pioneer the spicy chicken sandwich. I also have a and that's one of my favorite Popeyes. things. Oh, do you really? I I I, I, I kind of do too. No, I'm I'm mad at them because for the longest time they had a side of jambalaya. I could have. Oh my god! <laughs> you know how I feel about jambalaya. Oh, it's still good. Yeah, you you know jambalaya. my my personal my personal love and admiration Carly, for jambalaya. I've got to share with you my mom's jambalaya. Ooh, okay. I, my mom's gonna watch this podcast. She'd be like, ah, my boys talk about my jambalaya. Yeah, no, I I am still completely <laughs> fucking head over heels for that goddamn jambalaya. I wake up in a cold sweat for that jambalaya. It is. It, if I could eat anything. Oh my god, what, what are we doing, Lewis? I'm gonna yeah. be in town in a month. Let's you, make jambalaya. I am down to make jambalaya. Dude, I, am, I can, I'll get the recipe. Dude, you're not leaving unless we, we fucking make jambalaya. I swear to god. I, I, I so, like, Well, based on the offers I've gotten, I might be not be leaving in general. <laughs> you guys might kidnap me. Anyways. So, no, like, if, if this was on the tier list, I'd have it like S plus or something like that. Like, god tier. <laughs> that jambalaya is, like, great. But it's That's like, fantastic. you know, like like a like a desperate crackhead, I tried to find a substitute for the jambalaya, and Popeyes mm. was the only place I could like scratch that itch without <laughs> like completely giving me what I needed. It was jambalaya, but it wasn't the same. And then they fucking took it away. They stripped it from me, and I I am very upset with Popeyes. Oh man! But uh, you said it's it's above KFC. Uh. Can, 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 I, can they share the spot? Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll have them, have them, uh... They're so close. The, the chicken power couple. Yeah, they need to just, like, merge together. <laughs> Please. KF Popeyes. Yeah. <laughs> KFP. KFP. Oh, God, KFP. Alright, are you guys ready for the next one? <laughs> yeah. Alright. And you're looking spicy. A and W. Oh, root beer. Oh, I think of root beer. Yeah, I, like I think of a. I think of root beer, and I think of old school. Art. Well, I've never had them. Really? They, they're yeah. like old school, like old timey folk, like burgers and fries. Like just they, they have really good root beer floats. Is is like what they're known for in the root beer that itself. But it's like when I think A and W, I think about those car meets that the kids had in like the town that we mm -hmm. that uh that I used to live in. It's just the dumb shit they do in their parking lot. Yeah. That's actually the only A&W that's still there. The one off of... Uh, the one up uh, by Main Street closed down. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah I kind of uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I just You just sparked a memory for me. I'm... Although I don't eat at A&W a whole lot, I have enjoyed the times that I've been there. But I have a special memory with A&W. Because when I got my first tattoo, I was with my stepdad. And he and I don't really hang out a whole lot. We've done things here and there. But when we do like hang out, just him and I, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. Well, he and I went to the A&W that was right across the street and we ate there. And then ever since then, I've decided that every time I'm going to get a tattoo, I'm going to find the nearest A&W and I'm going to go eat lunch. So I'm going to put this... I don't, well, that, oh man, I thought it was such a good memory, and now I feel like I'm robbing it, because I still want to put it in a B. I'm, I'm going to go B. 
um, mm-hmm. maybe like like lo- low to mid because the food's mid. still not that great. But do you want to put it behind uh, Del Taco? No, in front of Del Taco. In front of Del Taco. Uh, in behind, front of Taco uh, Bell. In front of Taco Bell. So okay. mm-hmm. in behind Jack and Box. Yes. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy with it there. With... All right. Next. Oh, okay. Carla. What? I can't. Oh, really. you didn't, you didn't chime in on that one. Huh? You, I, I, did, did you did you vote? No, the, I, uh, I don't want to. I have no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Jimmy John's. Uh I don't eat there. <laughs> yeah, me neither. These it's are... a subway by my house. We Why do I need to? We can skip Jimmy John's. It's it's not really a great place. F- okay, F tier. All right, we're throwing <laughs> just All right. You know what? The Freaky day of fast. reckoning is coming. <laughs> they do have the freaky fast thing. Oh, I don't even know what Same. that is. That doesn't sound like something I want to be a part of, though. Dude, they have so. such a fucking, like, very, like, I don't know yeah. the word that I'm looking for, but they have a sign outside of their door that says free smells. And every time I drive by, I'm like, you, I fucking hate that sign. <laughs> free smell. There you go. You got a free smell. F tier. F tier. Jimmy John's is just a. It's it's questionable at best. Freaky fast. But I hear it's good. I I hear a lot of people saying it's better than Subway though. It's a place to go if you really want like meat. Like Jimmy John's supplies the meat. I got a. There's a couple corners I can go to if I want yeah. that. No. Um. I don't know. My ex <laughs> used to work there. Oh, F tier. Absolute oh, yeah. F tier. Below F tier. <laughs> H tier. H tier. There's one on here that I don't know anybody will rem- that anybody will remember. Is it is it Hardee's? Baja Fresh. Isn't that the the oh, soda brand oh. now? No, I know what you're talking about. They had either like the floor. It's a or in their design grill. somewhere they had like the checkered. Yeah. White black. Yeah. It's like yeah, white, I, I, black, uh, red, and green. Yeah. I yeah, don't remember having it obviously. <laughs> we can skip that one too because that's a uh, that's an H tier. H tier. We're just gonna sprinkle these ones into the categories we haven't filled up yet. I don't think you guys have any of these out here. Steak and Shake. Oh, you know what? I I, oh, I actually I've actually eaten at a Steak and Shake in Vegas, and it was fucking great. Yep, they usually I are. love that place. The, only the thing shakes I hate about them is and the steaks. The I don't remember the fries. I was so drunk when I went went there. It was Vegas. Um Ah, <laughs> uh, high B, high B, high B. I really enjoyed my time there. Carl said, "Hold the on." Wait, I, I don't even remember. Out. Okay, hold on. Yeah, uh, I want to look at this menu. Pretty good. Uh, uh, they have a jalapeno burger there. That's that's pretty. That sounds so good. I can't remember what I got. I got. I think yeah. I just got like a like a bacon burger with chili. Mm. I think that's what I got. The chili was really. And I got uh, like a chocolate shake. I want to say. So I really, I really like chocolate shakes. White Castle. Maybe it was a vanilla. Too. I like White Castle. I've eaten at a White Castle, and also in Vegas. Yeah, that's the only place that around here that has these obscure places now. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I'd put it high B, low A. Ooh, these pictures. Mm. I like. <laughs> uh, where are you putting it? Uh, high B, low A. Oh, should I be looking at some real like review pictures? You of could. This? Their food looks pretty, pretty similar. Oh, okay then. Uh, B, yeah. Okay. All right. The last thing on my list here is. Let's see if I can get a good one. Panera bread. Panera bread. I like Panera bread, but I'm mad at Panera bread. So they had this famous four cheese grilled cheese sandwich. And it was so good. And then they took it off. They usually do. Oh, okay. I only really do bagels 
the caramel freeze and then the their tomato soup, the bread bowl. Oh man, that's good. Dude, there is I don't a know where place, to place it. over here that has beer cheese soup. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh my dude, god. Dude. We're going there. We're going there. No, no, it's a it's a it's a it's a fucking uh it's a grocery store. They sell beer cheese did, soup and then did I stutter? I, <laughs> and then I buy um uh sourdough sourdough uh bread bread uh it's like a bread loaf. Oh man and I cut oh. a hole into the top of it. I heat up the uh the beer cheese soup and I pour it in the dude it is Oh, it's that heavy. sounds it's so heavy. good. I gotta have that. Oh man, that sounds so good. Um, what were we talking about? White Castle. But Panera. Oh no, Panera, Panera. I don't know where to put Panera because I I haven't really eaten there a whole lot, but the times I have, I've found myself struggling to find an item on them that I like. I feel like it's just not like I feel I feel like I enjoyed the food. But I just don't really find a whole lot of stuff there that I actually want to eat. But the ambiance is cool on the inside, and the bagels are good, of course. And it was really, it was, it was really popping for a minute back when I was cool. Um, but I'm gonna go with a happy. Oh, I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna see? go see. You want a high? Maybe like a high, see? like like low to high. Low to high. So would it be in front of or behind Pizza Hut? Oh, behind. I, uh, I'll go behind. Okay, I'll go behind. All right. That I thought you didn't like Pizza Hut. You were I so out of it. You were like, I... "Oh, fuck that Pizza Hut's way better." <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're all right in front of Pizza Hut. Okay. In front of Pizza Hut. Let's I have take it. Pizza Hut. You forgot that cheese. That <laughs> you cheese. forgot about the cheese. <laughs> that cheesy cheese. Who? So oh, after man. all of our, uh, after all of this our debate like a, and like a two and a half hour podcast, yeah, no, we're, we're, it's gonna, it's a big one. Part one, part two. It's a yeah, it's a two parter. It's sure. the two. It's fun. <laughs> our tier list. Or he's we gonna have, have some words. Our tier list. We have if you guys agree upon it. In S tier, we ended up with In and Out and Domino's Pizza. Solid, solid. I like in, it. In, in that, number tier, one. <laughs> in A tier. From top to bottom, we have Chick Fil A, Carl's Jr. and or Hardee's, depending on where you live. Little Caesars, Pollo Loco, and then the shared spots of KFC and Popeyes. <laughs> okay, I like it. Yeah. Okay, I agree. <laughs> and then for our B tier, from high to low, we have oh, God. Steak and Shake, McDonald's, IHOP, Five Guys. Subway, Chipotle, Jack in the Box, A and W, Taco Bell, Wingstop, Del Taco, and Sonic. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I swung so hard for IHOP. We should not be that high. But here we are. Uh, D -tier. Yeah. D tier, let's go. <laughs> See, and, I don't wait. Uh, oh, did you want to change something? Take and shake. Should be below McDonald's. Oh, okay. Oh, I highly well, disagree. I don't know how that happened. You, you, you want to know why I disagree? The breakfast. No, because when you no, because when, no, when you go to Steak and Shake, does. their ice cream machines work. Yeah, but they do have breakfast. Uh, well, it's not. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, McDonald's can be higher than Steak and Shake. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner time somewhere. For our C tier, from, from top to bottom, we have Panera Bread, Pizza Hut, Panda Express, Denny's, Wendy's, Burger King, Arby's, and Wiener Schnitzel. Dude, why is Panda Express in the same tier? Mitchell rings. Panda Express should be at S tier. I'm gonna launch a class action lawsuit against Panda Express for the orange chicken. It's in the same tier as Wiener Schnitzel and Arby's. Yeah, like what world are you living in? Oh God, I can't move it from there because we're not gonna agree. I'm not no, I'm, no, 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 we're not. We're not touching it because we're not gonna agree. Because I'm yeah. gonna want to drop it. Oh, okay, you're right. Okay, but. 
we have to we have to like switch some things around though like like for the for, for the viewers that decided to skip ahead what the heck We're just changing everything last minute plot twists like that mcdonald's one real sneaky oh yeah like once a lot so for our d tier we have lonely racing games Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's switch it up. S here. Let's get. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then our uh, our F tier, we got a uh, old reliable Long John Silvers and Jimmy Johns. Oh, Long John's. oh my God, fuck Long John Silvers. <laughs> we're giving Jimmy Johns a bad rap. Why is racing? They, they, they don't. They well, it should be. It shouldn't exist. It should um, um, Why did I rate it that low? I feel Why like. I feel like Jimmy John's we rated really low. Like I, I feel like it's just because we haven't had a whole lot of experience. Okay, do you guys want to take some time to look at their menu and and see if you want to adjust? Jimmy John's. Yeah, what Jimmy John's. Mm, uh, I don't want. I don't want to like, look at the menu. I just think I want to raise it to. Let's raise it to to D tier. Do you want to? I want to look at the menu. Freaky That's fast. That's why it's not lonely. Oh, we freaky can just... fast and freaky fast. I. I... I, I think that if any, like, I don't think Racing Kane should be alone in their tier. I think we should move Jimmy John's up to D tier because Long John <laughs> Silver's deserves to be alone. But raise, oh, why? You want to raise, wanna raise Racing Kane's? Yes, I do. Why? Your, bi- you? your bias is showing. How much do you get paid? Don't answer that. Um. <laughs> Don't answer. Yeah, that's that's why I was like, mm, low, low rating. Um, I, I I feel like it's just too simple though. I feel like I what well, what would it have in it right now in D tier? Um, mm-hmm. the thing is like I don't think it's D tier, but I don't think it's C tier, but only because we have way too much in C tier. Like oh something God. we gotta sprinkle things around a little bit. So like let's call this like a high D tier. Look, I okay. I haven't eaten a raisin canes, but. I don't know if I would put them below Arby's in a weird schnitzel. Oh, yeah, you know what? Cool. You know what? Okay, 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 okay. Arby's, low C tier. Wiener schnitzel, D tier. Raising Cane's, okay, okay. low C tier above Arby's. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, do not put her above Panda Express. Last, l- last ah, minute plot twist. We'll go find you. The last minute plot twists. All right, so okay. in our seat here, we have. I'll give you my address. We'll go to lunch. <laughs> uh, well, let's go to Pan Express. No, God, no. <laughs> let's you'll go have, to Arby's. You'll have to drag me by my feet. Let's go to the D tier. <laughs> God, we're not going to Raising Canes. No, so, they're in C tier now, right? Yeah, oh, that's right, they are. So Panera, they are. Pizza Hut, Pan- Pan- Panera, Panda, Denny's, Wendy's, Burger King, Raising Canes, and Arby's. And then D tier, yes, we have Wiener Schnitzel, better. and then Jimmy John's. Yeah. And then F tier, read F tier. Yeah, F tier. Think Long, Long John Silver. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Delinquents. It's like Long John Silver. And then we had a couple of them that, 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 were, uh, that were either not really important to talk about because they were either like uh, just really old restaurants or regional restaurants that might not be in the area. I can read those off if you want. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We may be surprised. I had a Baja Fresh, which it's a, it's an old mm-hmm. restaurant. There's Blimpy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bojangles. Oh, I've heard of a Bojangles. Yeah, I hear it's pretty pretty decent. Yeah. Boston Market. Oh! 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 I do no Boston Market. Like that's that's high C. I love no no Lobby Lobby Lobby. I love Boston Market. It's Lobby. imagine Thanksgiving all year round. And there's, okay. I don't, yeah, no. I love Boston Market. Then there was a uh, Checkers or Rallies. <gasps> oh, Rallies, really good. Uh, I like Rallies. Okay, okay. I like Rallies. Oh. Should have. Okay, we're we're throwing this back up here. Rallies and <laughs> we're not done. Plot twist. There's more. Um, this is like 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 the final chapter in the book. Like 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 the epilogue. Anyways. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, where do we want to put Checkers? It's like above above Carl's above Carl's Jr. on A. Oh, is Carl's on A? Carl's Jr. is on A, right behind Chick. Wow, we really like we really like Carl's Jr. Okay, maybe not that high. Um, I'm oh, I'm trying to think of like what we put on the list that's like relatively similar. It's above Jack in the Box. Yeah. Um. 
What's above Dragon Box? Uh, Chipotle. Above. above. Yeah. Subway. Subway. Above. Five guys. Ooh. Oh, that's that's the spot right there, right below Five Guys. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Moving Look at on. us. Look at us. <laughs> moving on with the list. Church is chicken. <laughs> no, I, I don't Church know. Is chicken? Uh, I just remember driving by it. <laughs> oh, there's what? There's one. There's one in your town. Uh, cookout. There was. Oh. Cookout. Yeah, it's cookout. Just, it's the name cookout. There's Sounds that, like the food's really good. There's one that I've gone to. It's a uh, Culver's. Oh, I've heard of a Cul. No, no, that's a city. I'm thinking of a city. You know, Culver's. Uh, is, uh, I... They're a uh, a burger place that sell butter burgers, which their their burgers are cooked with oh. butter. Um, it, oh, wow. it's it's okay. They mainly have really really good cheese curds and uh and like ice cream. Oh, cheese curds, cheese curds. I haven't had that in a long time. <laughs> so like, uh, where I put them, I put Culvers at like a a C. Thornton. Yeah, I put it at a C behind uh. I honestly put it behind fucking Burger King. Okay. DQ. Oh, Dairy Queen? Um, ice cream. Not... Oh. Around Sonic. Uh, around Sonic. Maybe above Sonic. Above, above Sonic. In front of Sonic, but below Boston Market? Yeah. Oh, maybe above Boston Market. It's really the 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 ice cream's really really yeah, good. Yeah, and then it would be uh so yeah. right now for B tier we have McDonald's, Steak and Shake, IHOP, Five Guys, Checkers, O'Reilly's, uh, Subway, Chipotle, Jack in the Box, A and W, Taco Bell, Wingstop, Del Taco, DQ, Boston Market, Sonic. Yeah. Okay. The next one, uh, Firehouse Subs. Oh no, I haven't had it. Nope. Which I've had it once, and I it's it's like Subway. But mm-hmm. like, I I put it below fucking Arby's. No, I I put it oh, above, wow. above Arby's behind Raising Cane's. It's it's okay food. Okay, okay. Probably making a decent amount of people upset. No, oh, well, we've made so many people oh, upset. Yeah, I'm sure. Definitely. The people that actually like that like die for Raising Cane's have been like they they checked out the first twenty minutes. But uh, you Long John Silver fans. Fuck oh yeah, no, no. Who? Basically. I'm sorry. Who are you talking to? An empty room? Because it sounds like you are. To, to the one old lady that's fucking eating her corn on the cob with her cod. Well, don't yell at the old lady. <laughs> she 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 was there when they were good. Now it's just a distant memory of her late husband. Jersey Mike's. Leave, leave her alone. Jersey Mike's. I hear is really good, but I I I have no experience with it, so I I can't. And rate then we it. have a Jolly Bee. Mm-mm. Ooh, oh, yeah. you know Jolly Bee. Like a candy shop. They have like a candy shop. They have fried chicken, okay. burgers, um, and spaghetti. What? It's weird. It's weird. On the same like, burger? No. It should be. I'm very curious about that now. A spaghetti chicken burger? Dude, stop. Did we just invent something? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sounds really good in a weird way. Where would you put Jolly Bee if you've eaten there? Low Low C. Uh, in front of or behind Arby's? In like front. Arby's is Arby's is like the <laughs> bottom of the line for C. Like in you're front not of Arby's. <laughs> have, you, have you passed the the Arby's threshold or not? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you made it. There's a noodles company. What is sell steak? Ice cream. Oh. Papa John's. Papa John's. Papa. Oh uh, well. Mm, well, we've. Well, uh, hmm, Papa John's. They're they're <laughs> the they're the redheaded stepchild of the pizza family. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And their twin cousin, uh, Papa Murphy's. Papa Murphy's. Um, Papa John's is the one that does make the pizza, though, right? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. Wait, of, really? Like, a... I th- I get the two confused all the time. So it was Papa. Wait, Papa John's? No, Papa John's what? also. D- Hang on. No, pa- Papa John's makes your pizza. Papa Murphy's does like the 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 takeaway. Oh, pa- oh, I mean, 
Really? Oh, okay. I thought. Chicken bakes. I was oh, confused. You, know, you know what? I'm realizing I've never eaten at a Papa John's. I haven't, but the but the day of reckoning is coming. That's all I know. I'm gonna try. I'll. <laughs> I I, I maybe, put it maybe a step above Pizza Hut. Food looks pretty good. Step above Pizza Hut. Okay. <laughs> Can we put I, them I don't know. Him? <laughs> put them where? Uh, same. I don't okay. know. Like that cheese. Well, Is the cheese up... better? I don't know. I haven't actually eaten there, but the food looks really good based on what I saw. Okay, but picture the lie. Well, that's their good side. There's a PDQ. <laughs> No, I don't know the PDQ. <laughs> Penn Station East Coast Subs. That sounds like a military base. Yeah. Uh, Portillo's? Nope. Potbelly? Nope. Qdoba? Nope. That one, we have a couple of them, but I've never eaten there. The Qdobas? Yeah. It's like a Mexican-style restaurant. It's mm. it, they, they seem to have interesting we, food. Our country needs more of those. Um, Quiznos? Oh, Quiznos! Oh, so oh, so Quiznos. Oh, I have an interesting relationship. Their, with their tagline is mm, "toasty." Mm, that's right. I don't know about toasty. Um, <laughs> so I I ate I had a Quiznos a few times, and the food was decent. But but this this one time I went in. I was having a real bad day. I was looking forward to the quiz. I walk in and I'm try I'm you know I'm I'm taking a look at look at the menu. I'm trying to order and the lady was so goddamn rude to me. It will ruin I I never went back. I never did. Uh, I'm find you. D tier, D tier, D tier. We're going to toast you. Toast me in game. What? What? One v one Rocket League. I'm gonna one v one Rocket League the the, the Quiznos franchise. Yeah. So Quiznos goes <laughs> worse. I put it. I put it at a deer. A deer. A, at, a, at a D tier. Do you want to put it? The food's of, uh, Jimmy the food's Jones? not that. The food's not that great. Um. Uh, yeah. In front of Jimmy yeah. Jones behind Wiener Schnitzels. The, the soup was really good though. The soup was really good. Above Wiener Schnitzel. Okay. The soup alone carries it above Wiener Schnitzel. Well, I don't even know why Wiener Schnitzel made the list. Dude, I don't know. Um, uh, our next but I just had a bad experience. Was uh, Roy Rogers? I've heard of that place. I heard it's good. And then uh, we have Sabaro. Oh, that that's the pizza place. Like In the mall? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, sorry, uh, still, no I was just pretending. Oh. I like it. It's a good solid pepperoni slice, pizza slice. Yeah. But they also have oh. other stuff too. Um, no, I, I know what you're talking about. They now. have pastas and stuff too. Yeah. Is Charlie's on this list? No, they're not. Oh man, that place slaps. <laughs> fucking that nice fucking high. That's an A tier right there for me. <laughs> nah, no, no, high B, high B. For what? Oh. oh, oh, oh! For Charlie's, if it was on the list. So, if you were to put Sabaro based off of your memory, where would it be? Mid C, like. Mid C. Mm. Interesting. So that would be. It, it is mall pizza. Behind Burger King. Oh, above. Above Burger King. I it's because of the it's just pizza. What about Wendy's? Above. Denny's. Ah. <sighs> That's all mm. I, I don't know. I would say below. I'm curious, what, what pizza places did that beat out? Uh, pizza oh. places, it beat out none. Oh, really? That's low? Okay. Well, it, it is malt pizza. I would because just... I remember it's thin, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's, I don't know. What else is uh, off the list? So our next off the list is Schlotzky's. <laughs> that's a funny. That's a funny word. Which there is uh, uh, one in my town, and I have gone there. 
They're a bakery mm-hmm. and a cafe. They sell sandwiches similar to Arby's. Um, I went there for a Cinnabon and a and some water. <laughs> the Cinnabon was burnt, and my water tasted salty. Salty I, water. I would, I would put them D tier behind Jimmy John's. Wow. Or Schlotzkis. <laughs> then there's Shake Shack. Didn't we just do Shake Shack? Oh, no, wait. That's Shake and Shack. Wait. wait. No, 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 not you Shake. No, that. I'm thinking of Steak and Shake. Hmm? I'm tired. Leave me alone. Really? <laughs> They're not shake the same. Shack? Hold on, because I think... No, no. So there's Steak and Shake, and then there's Shake Shack. Oh, we have the Shake Shack, oh, then. Are we, re- are we, we? revisiting Steak and Shake? What the hell is Steak and Shake? What did I look? Okay. It's oh, no, no, no. I stand by what I said. And shake. Yes, um, we shake do have- Shack. I, I'm gonna just put. I'm I, Shake Shack. I haven't eaten there, but I've heard a lot of things about it, and I, I'm gonna put it in like a like a, high, like a high C because I hear a lot of really good things. And like, and I think in in the Midwest, the South, like I think it's like a much bigger thing, kind of like Waffle House. Like I think it's just more so well known over there. In front of or behind Burger King? Oh, above. Wendy's. Above. Uh, Sabaro. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. Cause I have, I can't put it too high. I haven't eaten it. I'm just going off of everything I've been hearing about the place. And then next off the list, we have Sheets. What? That's a food place? Yeah. No, it's not. It is. Next one friend. after that is uh, Skyline Chili. They're in. They're in. They're in the mafia with Long John Silver's. <laughs> just a friend. There's a uh, Swenson's, Mm-mm. Taco Cabana, Mm-mm. Torchy Tacos, the Waffle House. Ah, now that's the one I was waiting for. Um, I really don't know. Slap it with Steak and Shake, I guess. I I'll actually like come in here for a little bit. I've seen there's a couple Waffle Houses in the area. Um, they are barren during the day. And at nighttime is when they come out to play. Uh, I heard it's really ghetto, dude. It's the Walmart of. Uh... Yeah, I hear it's really ghetto, but yeah. it's like the spot. It, it's like the. It's like it's like it does to people at Denny's. Though. Yeah, out of here, I think it's the same sort oh, of like I that's even put the it spot. On the list. No, okay. Uh, then we have uh, the Wawa. Mm-mm. Water, water burger. place. Oh, Whataburger. Oh, Whataburger. Wait, have I had a Whataburger? Wait, I'm I'm getting very confused for a second. If I had a Whataburger. Can't what am I thinking burger. of? Fat I don't know burger. what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking about. We have Fat Burger. Fat Burger. Hmm. Oh, 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 Whataburger is the one that competes with In-N-Out, but it's slightly, but it's not as good. That's yeah, it's a Midwest. Or like, um, Texas. A-tier. 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 I've eaten it's, it's good. It's good, but I've had people. I've had people from Texas who come into IHOP to to eat, and I'd ask them if Whataburger was is as good as In and Out, and they always say In and Out's better. Yeah. So I yeah. honestly put it behind Popeyes. Okay. And then we have White Castle. White Castle. Oh, the sliders are. Hmm. Hmm. I also I had this in Vegas on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, but the food wasn't that good, so, and it was very dirty. So low C tier. Low C tier. Yeah. The, so so I think I think I enjoy White Castle better when you buy the frozen sliders. Think Where about put White Castle. What the fuck? They're just as good. There's like no benefit to eating inside the restaurant unless you want to sit in like, like someone else's French fries. No Are you talking about the one like you said Vegas, right? Yeah, the one in Vegas on the on the Fremont. Yeah, yeah. I went there on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, so I just walked by it, it and behind I agree. Arby's. Um. Yes. Behind. Uh. Oh no, 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 I... no. Above Arby's. Anything's above Arby's if it's, as, <laughs> if it's in that tier list. Let's and keep then, Arby's at the very last. And yep, then our yeah. last one, we have Zaxby's. No, I don't know. It's a chicken place. It's it's. I haven't eaten there, so that I can't have mm-hmm. an opinion. So our tier list now, 
Oh god, there's so many now. From top to bottom, Domino's in and out. A tier. Chick fil A, Carlos Jr., or Hardee's, Little Caesars, Pollo Loco, Popeyes, KFC, Whataburger. I get tier from high to low. McDonald's, Steak and Shake, IHOP, Five Guys, Rallies, Subway, Chipotle, Jack in the Box, A and W, Taco Bell, Wingstop, Del Taco, DQ, Boston Market, Sonic. C tier, top to bottom, Panera Bread, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, Panda Express, Denny's, Sabaro, Shake Shack, Wendy's, Burger King, Culver's, Raising Cane's, Firehouse Subs, Jolly Bee, uh, White Castle, Arby's. D tier, Quiznos, Wiener Schnitzel, uh, Jimmy John's, Schlotzky's, F tier. You ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready for this one. Read it out loud. Long the whole classic here. Long John Silvers. Seafood, You're damn right. Seafood and chicken. Oh, man, that place is... Man, <laughs> I wish I could wipe that from my memory. This Hush puppies are good, though. <laughs> so I was gonna add that in there. <clears throat> well, I have, to, I have to give it the... I have to name the one good thing about it because of how much I bashed it. Hush Walk puppies are there. good. Walk There's nothing there. else. Cashier punching in the face. Lost my wallet. Hush puppies are good. You know, my friend and I, we would go to Long John Silver's in Fresno, and uh, and we would go late at night. And he went there so so often that when we'd get a bag of hush puppies, they'd put a bunch of the extra like like bits in it that kind of fall off the hush puppies. So we like had we we had like like an after hush puppy snack. That's gross. You had like just like the crust of the. <laughs> Basically, but it was good though. It was good. That that's been our tier list for our fast restaurants. <laughs> um, this is tomorrow. We're gonna list. no next next <laughs> podcast. We're gonna rate uh, bars of soap. Oh, I'll get cleaning supplies. <laughs> Fabuloso is S tier. <laughs> yes, it is absolutely. Don dish soap A tier, solid contender. Nah, S tier. If it clean, if it can clean ducks, it can clean me too. If I can, if wash my dishes and wash my hands with the same bottle of soap, I'm in good hands. Have you seen that meme where it's like men's body wash and it's like five and one? Eight and one. You oh, know no, what? Eight and one. It's like uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, car wash, dish soap. <laughs> Carpet cleaner. Yeah, carpet cleaner. <laughs> I, I I used to think that that was so funny because I'd only ever seen a three in one. I was like, ah, this is so extreme. My soap is actually a five in one. I'm like, Jesus. It's like it's like hair conditioner, body, face, moisturizer. Something like it's something like that. You can grab the bottle out the shower, it'd be like dry as a dry as a desert, and just slap it you, on your body. I, you know, I want to make a video now. I want to make a video about about a, a guy who goes around his whole day with this bottle of soap, and it's a like a like a twenty in one, and he has a use in everyday situations with this soap. Wallet. Like I just. I just think that be, like, like like I I can imagine he's walking down the street and someone's having car problems. And he just pours a little, a little bit of that shampoo in there, and the car runs perfectly fine. <laughs> just like it, it look on the label, it says like engine oil. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this has been our tier list. If you agree with us, let us know. If you if you disagree with us, let us know. If you're a avid Long John Silver's uh partaker, let us know. We have questions. Stay away. Stay the fuck away. Let us know who you are so we can stay away from you. <laughs> but anyways, oh, man. do you guys have any any last words? Uh, in my heart, Panda Express is at the top. Oh in the man! So in my heart, Panda, Panda Express would be at, at the bottom of the barrel, well, below <laughs> Long John Silver's. Oh no! Oh, that bad, huh? Compared to, when you compare the two, Long John Silver's is like looks like an it's S tier. Bad. We're talking about it's all real these bad. fast food restaurants. I have one question for you guys. Okay. Where are we gonna eat it first? If you were a fine, if you were a prisoner, 
Oh. The death. The, the death penalty. What would be your final meal? Oh, man. Out of all these... Out of all of these uh, restaurants here. Imagine I say hush puppies. You know, like pepperoni pizza. That or in and out I I'm I'm gonna say a Popeye spicy chicken sandwich. With the side of mashed potatoes, put it on the sandwich. Golden. Even though it's not an S tier? Yeah. Okay, well okay, the the thing's an S tier, I eat quite a lot. If I was a prisoner, I would have eaten so much of this over my life. It wouldn't be as substantial. But a Popeye chicken sandwich, a spicy chicken sandwich, I actually I love it so much. But I don't, I like never get it. So to me, it's kind of like a, like a one final really good chicken sandwich. Yeah. I would, uh. It doesn't matter. I got the death penalty. I'll eat whatever. <laughs> I would go with, um, Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Yeah, I'd, I'd sit down with, uh, with one last hot and ready pizza and just kind of reminisce of, uh, Every time I've had a hot and ready pizza with, you know, friends and family. Would you get a cheeseless? No. I, I would get a, <laughs> For old time's sake. <laughs> but no, I just sit down and reminisce, like, yeah, just having having the hot and readies with the uh, friends and family. Good. And just kind of have that one last time. It's got real depressing real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh, have Long John Silver's just so I can fit it out. I... <laughs> 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 just so I can stick my fingers down my throat um, and project and like, vomit the car. Yeah, you know I'm what? Saying. You know what? I'll sit so in the well. electric chair and I'll say for my last meal, I'd like to trade it in for one simple request. Bring me Long John Silvers and put it in the chair before me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sit on it. <laughs> just like elect- just electrify the food and then all right, my turn. I just had to see that happen. I just, I just had to watch it. it. Well, technically, you can have Long John Silver's and just not eat it, and you'll have a forever can I, final meal. Long, can I get Long John Silver's and you just sit on the floor like, all right, my, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's like, look, look, it's gonna be a while. Actually. I'd yeah. get McDonald's and I'd use the Coca Cola because it's so extra syrupy. I'd use it to fry the circuit board. Oh my god! Oh, big brain. Well, right. if, it can, if it can clean my car, it can it can fry a circuit right, board. Fi- final, hey. final question: If you were given a food from a well, let, let me rephrase that: If you could escape from prison, what would be the food you would do it with? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Apparently, Long John Silver's. Like a, a bucket of KFC uh, biscuits, because I'd use it to choke out all the guards on the way out. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I, in that case, I'd use Panda Express, because then I get the ring. Oh, you get the rings. Yeah. rings the way out. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. We should, we should probably conclude yeah, this we'll, before we we'll keep asking about it. Yeah, just, yeah. This, just, this is uh, fun. Cue to, cue to fade to black. 